Welcome to Seven Sided Die's Carpathian Adventure. Travel back 700 years to the early 1300s. Castles like this dot the countryside. The Hungarian Empire or Carpathian Empire is at its zenith. The nascent Ottomans are on the rise, but neither holy nor Roman nor an empire. Holy Roman Empire battles within. England and France fight one another. As the Templars recede into history, the Teutons are on the rise. Welcome to the Carpathian Adventure. This was a great hall. There would have been a roaring fire. It would have been adorned with Gothic windows. This might be where our adventuring party might gather. Let's meet them. From the kingdom of Aragon, I am Zyman Vall. I've ventured forth with few possessions and little coin, save an ancient tomb I searched to decipher. But I've struggled to find clues, and at times, food. While freezing in the Alps, fate crossed my path with a shining knight and the champions of the sun. Having aided me in a desperate time, they have earned my service and my friendship. Now, using my wizardry, I fight by their side. I am Balder, a Norseman, a soldier, and an eldritch knight. I left my home to leave politics behind, only to be dogged by it across Europe. I first met the Champions of the Sun outside a small town in Hungary. Together, we battled Ottoman raiders and vampires. The Champions gave me purpose again, and where it takes me, I know not, but I know I want to be a part of it. I'm Aldrich, and while I grew up an urchin in the narrow confines of Venice, I never seemed to fit in there. Except for this music box, my past is hidden to me. Now north of the Alps, I feel I'm closer to home, wherever that might be. Near the Utersberg Mountain, I discovered these intrepid adventurers. Though they're blazing a dangerous path, perhaps they might help me discover who I really am. Aha! Hello, friends! You can call me Luvia Moreau. I come from the beautiful country of France, of course! Traveling as a salesman, banished from my home, where by the hand of my twisted sister, my father was killed, and I was implicated. Mon dieu, how low I've come. But in that law, I found the champions of the sun. Although they may not smell like sweet wine, they are honorable. Uh, mostly. <laughs> I am Kip Kaelin, Ranger of the North, and I am lost. Hailing all the way from Garen in Scotland, I have faced great tragedy, losing all those dear to me. I am haunted by that fateful night and what was taken from me. I face defeat at every turn, attempting to enact revenge on those that did this to us. And when all my strength, resources, and allies, save for my trusted wolf Lycoa, was depleted, I stumbled upon the Champions of the Sun at the Battle of Sagut. I decided to ally myself with these seemingly capable and worthy adventurers to aid me in putting the lost to rest. It is what she would want, or so she seems to indicate. I am Borinth, the cave bear. I come from a tribe of barbarians that once lived in the mountains of the Badenweiler. While on my sacred spirit quest, my tribe and family were attacked with none left alive. I now seek the power to avenge my people. With my rage, I grow stronger. And with the Champions of the Sun, I seek a path to restore and preserve my people's culture and rid this world of any evil that stands in my way. I am Matthias, of the House of Bathory, Knight Baron of Carpathia. With my traveling companion, Ambria, I was dragged into a whirlwind path by a rogue monk. But those I have met since then 
have earned my respect and, more importantly, my trust. Welcome to the Carpathian Adventure. Welcome, I'm Tom. Thank Thank you for joining us. We're a group of gamers who get together in real life to play Dungeons and Dragons. Some of us are military, others are in construction, still others, retail managers, a few are in IT, parents, students, etc. So, we do this strictly for fun. We hope you enjoy it nonetheless. There were quite a few thank yous in our open, except one, you. We would like to thank you, as Brian says, (laughs) you, our... Twitch, Facebook, and Twitter, and Periscope followers, as well as our YouTube subscribers. Thank you for joining us. If you have not already, please follow on Twitch, please like on YouTube and on Facebook, and of course, please subscribe on YouTube. If during the stream you follow or donate on Twitch, or if you subscribe on YouTube, your username will pop up on the screen. During the stream, say that 10 times fast, screen, stream, screen, stream. Some of us are watching Twitch. I have it up right here, not just uh, because I'm looking for your comments, but because also I want to make sure we don't drop off the stream. Please feel free to ask comments or ask questions while live. We will endeavor to interact if the opportunity presents itself. To all of our subscribers, thank you. What is happening in the campaign to defeat the powerful vampire uh, Bayou Kochsman Ghazi. The party is building strength and gathering allies and collecting resources. An element needed to create a powerful weapon called the Tour de Dimon is the Hil- Hilgelanza. Hilg- someday I'll get it right. Hilgelanza. 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 Thank you. The lance head from the Spear of Destiny. The caretaker for the lance head, a leader in the canton of Schwyz, and Lord of Schloss Kyberg, Werner Stoffacker, agreed to loan it to the party for two years, but Stoffacker, of course, wanted some help in return. And the Swiss cantons are in a war with one of the two Holy Roman Emperors, Frederick the Fair. The cantons want relief from some oppressive taxes, and they want greater autonomy. Two of Frederick's armies are invading the cantons, one under his brother Leopold, the Duke of Austria and Styria, is invading from the northeast. Their lead elements are in the village of Morsgarten with the players. The party's tasking, they have to either hold off Leopold's forces coming to siege Stoffacker's Schloss Kyberg until Swiss reinforcements arrive from the other cantons. Note that the other Swiss cantons might also be involved in a battle with the other army from the empire or they have to win a victory over Leopold's forces sufficient that it permits the cantons, or the party for the cantons, to negotiate an agreement guaranteeing lower taxes and greater autonomy, or just outright defeat Leopold's forces. Of course, the party accepted the challenge (laughs) and chuckled as they did. (laughs) To give battle to Leopold, Mattias Bathory, Borinth of Badenweiler and Kartra, the Norse cleric, carefully scouted a gorge north of Schloss Kyberg and south of the village of Mordgarten. A narrow road joins the two and parallels a deep, raging, and bitter cold river. Finding the narrow defile of strategic value, they placed key positions, they selected rather key positions and placed their troops to including a ballista, then waited. Eventually, the first elements of Leopold's army emerged from Mortcarton heading south into the narrow road and defile. A castle, with castle archers positioned on a tall ridge overlooking the road, they let loose their destruction. Zyman cast a fireball, then a wall of fire. Those that were not quickly burned alive or driven into the river were picked off by archers. From a higher ridge on the opposite bank, Balder the Norseman coordinated ballista fire, pinning many an enemy soldier in place. 
Alderic the Rogue snuck down the ridge overlooking the trail and attacked the enemy from the flank. Kartra and Mattias waded into battle, and though some of the enemy escaped, the rest were cut down in the past. Pass. A short while passed, night fell, and after a brief respite, another wave of Leopold's forces initiated their attack, this time supported by a large contingent of archers. In the darkness, the enemy rushed forward. Some circled round to try and pin Alderic in the village. Zyman let loose another fireball that devastated the ranks of the enemy archers. Kartra healed the wounded and smashed others with her spiritual hammer, and Mattias led the charge into the enemy ranks. From the rear of the enemy, in the defile, the bar paladin, Borinth, arrived on the battlefield. With Aldrich, they fought their way back toward the party. The fight in the narrow road was thick and heavy. At one point, the enemy shoved Balder, the Eldritch Knight, into the raging stream. Fortunately, Zyman, the wizard, saw him fall, quickly cast a spell, and lifted him out of the water. Continuing to make use of the spell's effect, <clears throat> he transported Balder and Borinth across the river to attack an enemy contingent on the other side. With Balder and Borinth on the opposite side of the river, the enemy saw an opportunity to launch another attack down the narrow defile. This time, a group of heavily armored, mounted knights. It is night. A light rain is falling. Visibility is reduced. And a fog is rolled in. In the midst of the battle, we rejoin the party. Ah, the audio is not up yet. Uh, but here we are. Welcome back, guys. Hello. Yes. I, I think we are at the top of the round. We are conspicuously... Balder, the, the eldritch knight who was on the opposite side of the river, <clears throat> says, I'm going to chase them down and kill them all myself. And he turns and runs northwest. Bizarrely. Oh, <laughs> He's looking for the Swede. He just <laughs> left. Maybe again. he is. Yeah, I don't Swede. know where he went. <laughs> he just so, left again. Yes, he did. Sky above. Okay. Uh, on that note, while this charges back up again, we're at the top of the round. Alderic, you are up, and you are in the midst of a, a fight right there. Yes. Aldric uh, turns from his crouching position and sees a bunch of horses uh, coming on him, and he is going to try to use his. That sounds messy. <laughs> Never mind. Mm, yes. Ow. Yes. Ow, I didn't. <laughs> Why? <laughs> on that note, <laughs> he is a worldly northern Italian, and he's very accustomed to such things. <laughs> Ah, it's even more <laughs> gruesome. <laughs> oh, so, I'm not sure that made it any better. All right, come on, I now. love Lucy, come on. <laughs> I love Lucy is about to run. That's right. Anyway. <laughs> okay. So, between the horses, Aldrich is going to duck, dash, dodge, dive, and dodge again. Thank you. And dodge, duck, dive, dodge, and dodge. He pulls out his wrenches. <laughs> <laughs> Inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is worth it. Looking at you. Um. Yeah. So. Um. Try to go on that way. No, no, I'm, I'm gonna run towards the back. I'm gonna try to nimbly dash between the horses. And what I want to do is, I'm gonna pull out uh with my rapier, my dagger. Also, I want to slash the horses, not the knights. Ooh. So cruel. Something Playmobil battles you would never be allowed to do. <laughs> never kill the horses. No. Does a 23 hit the horse? Of course, a 23. You turn and you slash away at the legs, cutting into it as you go by. And which way are you going? I'm running this way. That way. Okay. Away from the battle, um, okay. Away from the battle or into the horses? Yeah. Into the horses. Yeah, to oh. the rear of the horses. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you turn. Sure. How far do you go? I mean, it's. It, I'm uh, gonna call it difficult terrain. Uh, I'm you're... dashing, so it's gonna be uh, 80 feet. I could go as much as 80. Mm, yeah. Help me out. You're dashing. You're using a bonus action. How are you you're using a bonus action to do the slash? Or what no, you... the slashing is my. The, the slashes are my actions. And then. And, and I'm using the, the bonus action to dash away. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Got it. Got it. 
Got it. Okay, got it. It took me a second to process. You're... So what's your total movement uh, divided by? So it would be forty. Or, yeah, yeah, back down to forty. Okay, but uh, so you can go twenty feet further past here. That's fine. Yeah. You'll be about here. Is that good? And he has not. He has not act. Has taken an action yet. So he will take maximum damage, which is going to be uh, six. 12, 18, 24, plus 8 is 32, plus 5 is 37 points of damage to the, to the horse. Poor, poor horse. I think the horse literally has like 10 hit points. <laughs> I think horses, what are horses' hit points in general? Pretty <laughs> okay, 37. And obviously, I gotta look something up. And then they're going to. Uh, they're going to, of course, take their attack of opportunity on you. Attacks of opportunity on you. Uh, very. Anything else, sir, in the meantime? Uh, yes. Actually, when I, having the mobile feet, when I dash, I do not provoke opportunity. Oh, attacks. okay. Cool. Cool. Um, That's nice. <laughs> I, attacked, uh, I attacked with my main, and I used my bonus action to dash. Could I make an offhand attack with a dagger? Uh, I don't oh, know man. the answer to that. Um, I'm going to say sure for now, because I don't know. But if I find out later yeah, otherwise, we'll just okay. yeah. roll with okay, it. Because he's got one, two one-handed yeah. weapons. So the first one was on this horse. The second that. offhand will be on this horse. And that is... Is a 19? A 19! Ooh, so that one horse goes down, and the other one... Uh, you know, there's, there are separate statistics for riding in a war horse. Yeah, I know. Form, I am anything. looking at this. Yep. So I'm looking at these. These are war horses. What was the initial damage that you, um, that you rolled? A 19. On you what? feel the horse. Yeah. What was the. And yeah. then you rolled to attack. I, I hit the horse first. With and the I main got, weapon. Yeah. Oh, the main weapon. It's, it's automatic crit because it's, it's, oh. so, it's a surprise attack. Why was it a surprise Not surprise because it hasn't acted yet. It's part of the um, assassin. the rope the assassin. Yeah, okay. Assassin. Okay. okay. So and the second attack with the dagger. The dagger just you feel it chink against its armor. No hit. No. no. Okay. I mean, it doesn't penetrate. Yeah. Okay. You might hit, but it doesn't okay. penetrate. Anything else, sir? And that is it. Did that horse uh, die? Yes, that one horse collapsed. Which one was it? The first one. I don't know. You see it like stumble underneath him. Does Mike take any damage when he falls? I don't know yet. I'll figure it out here in okay. a second. Ah. Might be on the ground a little. <laughs> okay, anything well, else? That's it for all. The opponents, we'll go ahead and see. He gets an animal handling check, we're going to say, because he's a mounted knight after all. Uh, uh, wrong, wrong group. Okay, the, uh, tch, tch, tch. I'm gonna say a 20. Uh, he's got a 20, even with no bonuses. I'm gonna say he's still, a, he, it collapses underneath him and he's still standing there, if you will. Okay, the rest of them at this <clears throat> point, just continue to move forward. These guys come charging forward and slam into. There, was, there should have been a, um, a modifier that was uh, because I told because uh, last time I had them uh, roll for standing and uh, standing and fighting, locking shields and lowering pikes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah! Your guys are gonna get a modifier for their defense. You mean? Yes. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Thank you for the reminder. Absolutely. <laughs> This guy is going to try and stumble out of the way. This guy's going to charge forward. This guy's going to charge. Actually, you know, he'll turn and charge you. And he's going to turn. He's going to go over this way. From back here. These guys come around. I'm going to say they're about here right now. You see these, these two coming around the corner. Charge! Okay. Um, well, that one looks more important. Uh, okay, on Balder, or on I, I, Borinth, rather. I got this. What? <laughs> what did I missed it? Nothing. Okay, on Borinth, uh, slashing away. Actually, this one's gonna. 
Uh, this one pulls out his sword. This guy takes it. He's got a... Yeah, he's got a sword. He just uses his sword and he slashes away at you. A critical card, please. Ooh. A natural 20 and then an 18 plus... Nice. Yeah. Uh, plus... Hits, I assume. Plus seven, so oh, he's got a, a twenty-five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything. Okay, works. so <laughs> everything basically. I just uh, roll a DC ten con, or be oh. saved. Its slams should be easy for you. Uh, yeah, I rolled a seventeen plus. Yeah, obviously terrifically five, good. So. Okay, and you take. Uh, uh, oh. What? No, no, no. Uh, 26 divided by 2 because you're still raging. Uh, 13 points of slashing damage from the one. The other one attacks away at you. Is that the crit? I'm sorry. Is that the crit? Yeah, the one 13? of those was the crit. Okay. Uh, the other two are a uh, 16 and a 17. They both hit. Both hit. Your armor's lower than I thought. <laughs> no, uh, I have no armor. A I'm naked. <laughs> <laughs> Just wearing a loincloth. Yep. <laughs> a fig leaf. A loincloth and his lot. pride. <laughs> a a 22 <laughs> divided by two, 11 more He's points. He's latter-day Conan. Okay. Uh, those are those two guys. Uh, wait, one sec. Actually, they'll action surge on you. They'll go ahead and, what the heck, because they're going to die. <laughs> 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 so, a miss and a 27-ish or something like 26. So one hit for uh, 15 points of damage, rounded seven points. The other guy, a miss and a, an 18. I'm assuming the 18 uh -huh. hits yep. uh, for uh, 12 divided by two, six more points. Chipping away at me. Okay. Okay, you may... Uh, yeah, disregard that. So these guys, they're charging ahead with their swords and they slam, the horses slam into your your stone wall at the same, or your shield wall as they're trying to push you. At the same time, they're slashing away at the guys in front of them. They're gonna uh, have disadvantage. Uh, bonus attack. Okay, this guy gets a bonus attack on you also as well, uh, Balder. Not that it matters. That was <coughs> die. Natural 20. Critical card, please. Oh, man, come on. <laughs> Why did he get a, a random bonus attack He doesn't on have it. He's got a special ability called Charger. Triple damage. So... I guess I'm bringing that out. Uh, 33 <laughs> divided by 2 is uh, 16. Yeah, I'm researching. 16. Those guys over there. They yeah. slam in. I'm going to give them disadvantage because of your shield wall, uh, if you will. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, so the, the first one, his them. first two attacks. One, I'm going to say that's probably uh, a, At least a five. Mm. He gets a special <laughs> bonus on his first charge. Ten. Ten. Um, uh, yeah, a Seventeen. Does seventeen hit? Yes. Oh, seventeen. Does. Heals. <laughs> okay, heals. somebody takes uh, eight points. His second attack, nat, uh, well, that's, I'm sorry. The second one is, it would have been a nat 20, but it's not a nat 20. It's a uh, 12. I'm assuming a 12 misses. No, it misses. Okay, he gets his bonus attack after charging, and it's a, with disadvantage, a, a 17. It's a 17, and he takes another eight points. And he's going to action surge anyway, too. A, I'm assuming a 20 hits. He takes another uh, 13. And then a disadvantage at 17 and a 20. So seven, still, still, still going to hit. He takes another <coughs> 7 and 4 is 11 more. The this middle is guy. all on the same guy? Yep, all on the same guy. I'm going to be for him. <laughs> then, uh, okay, the middle one. Okay, um, that's... Number two of the three. Uh, first, then he's down. Okay, first attack. Uh, uh, it's lousy rolls. Second attack at, at eight and eighteen uh, for a, a, a it becomes a dirty twenty. I'm assuming that hits. Yes. Uh, for 
uh, just lay him on his side so we know that good guys are down. Because you guys might decide to heal him. Uh, nine uh, for uh, 13 points of damage on the middle guy. Uh, he takes his uh, bonus action. Uh, on the middle guy? You said or no, whichever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. There's three attacking. You pick it. I don't care. Um, <laughs> uh, 12, uh, 12 does not hit, I'm pretty sure. No, so how many points of damage the first, the first attack? Uh, I've already forgotten. Uh, 9, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13. Um, and then the... That was 1, 2. The bonus action at disadvantage. A 14 plus uh, 7 is 21 uh, for uh, max damage, 14. And then he takes his action surge, uh, a 16, does that hit? Yes. 16 for 6 points. And He's down. Okay. <laughs> and then the last guy, he a, an 18 with disadvantage. And I'm sure that's a hit. He takes 10. Um, lousy, a, a, a uh, actually, no, I mean, a, um, a 15. Does a 15 hit? Ties, I can go to the defenders, so no. Okay, and then his bonus, uh, no. And his uh, uh, action surge, the disadvantage is helping you here, sort of. Um, a eight and seven, seven, seven is fifteen. That's also okay, and that's that's it. Uh, I think that is all they can do. I think that is all. Ooh, I screwed something up, but that's in your favor. Okay, that should be the opponents at this point. Borinth, you are up. Did no. I screw up something on on the whether or not somebody hits? No, I don't think so. No. Oh, okay. No, no, no. no. Okay. No. no. Um. Okay. <coughs> Borinth, right. you are up. It's followed by Simon Carter Matthias. These guys have to pay a little bit here. Um. Am I within five foot range of both of them? Yeah. Of them? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, well, okay. Push the horse. Yeah, I'm sure. Yes, you are. Okay, well, I'm gonna take my, uh, <laughs> yeah, reckless first, my first attack. Uh, that's a 24 to five. 26 to hit. A 26. So I hit both of them, right? Slams into the first one in the left okay. foot somehow. So I'm gonna do the damage, um, just in case the horse drops. Right, so sure. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna take him off that horse. Right, so uh, first damage. Oh nice, that's uh, 22, 23 points of damage. Twenty three points of damage to the first guy closest to you. Yeah. Okay. Oh, to both of them. So the, to the okay, horse. Okay, got it. So I'm gonna do it to the horse and to the guy. So I'm trying to drop the horse while I swing okay, through the guy with my axe and then take a chunk out of the horse. Okay, understood. Uh, well, twenty three. That was the total roll. 20, uh, 23 damage. Oh, 23 damage. What was yeah. it? 26. 26, 26 was the first yeah. roll, so the minus. Is... Yeah. So 24 to the horse, right? Let me double check. It drops, uh, it drops two each time, right? Is it, it two? Drops. I, I think it was two. I thought it was four. Let me just double check. Just I thought it was case. four for some reason. Uh, I could be wrong. I thought it was two each step. So uh, no, it's four. It's uh, four. four. That's right. Okay. So, so 26. 26, 22. 22. Yeah, 22. 22 does hit. Okay. The horse. That's right. It drops four each time. Okay, and on the guy Does the horse would be an 18. That one wouldn't hit the guy. Does that make sense? No, why? The guy is 26, and then it would pass through minus four to hit the horse. Oh, okay, I thought you were trying to also hit the guy on the horse. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Oh, okay. Nope. okay. Nope, I'm, I'm assuming that he is not within my fight, because if he's on the horse, that's kind of... I said he was, but that's cool. Okay, okay. boom. Uh, it goes through, and the horse is still up. The horse starts to buckle underneath. Horses. Okay, so the horse is still up. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna swing my axe back around, come back around for my next one. Uh, 20, 30 to hit. A 30 hits and slams through the first and second one, and okay. through the horse and, and the guy. Uh, 13 points of damage. Thirteen. Roll. Oh, the horse is just hanging on. Okay. 
Third attack. This is your bonus attack, right? Well, I get, yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 go I for get, it. Well, yep. I get, yeah, because I'm frenzied. So it's 20, 21, 22 to hit. 22 on the guy hits, but it doesn't go okay. through the horse. Does that make sense? Yep. 19, 20 points of damage. 20 points. Oh, he is a hurting camper. You're slammed into his right hand with your axe. As you were coming through, and it spun. Oh, absolutely. Put a red on the guy and a red on the horse. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Ah, Anything else, sir? No, that's it. That's all I can do. Okay, Boren. Zyman, you are up. Uh, I guess I will... I'm going to grab Mattias, because Mattias can't... I was going to say, you might want to bring him over first. He can't do anything, Mm -hmm. really, long distance. I can at least snipe if I need to. So I'll bring him to there. Uh, that's all I can do. And now for the archers. Archers! The one stunned one on the ground. That was from... If he, there you go! He misses that, so he's back up. That's his action. Now, so one, two, three, four, five. Appropriate timing on the, on the <laughs> horns. Uh-huh. Let's see. I don't think any of those will hit. <laughs> A 24, it slams in and just finds its space in between one of their pieces of armor. Point out which one. Uh, Nine points of damage to him. Okay. Ow! Ah, You hear a scream as it cuts into his chest. The archers across the river. Uh, oh, I'm doing this. So I got the disadvantage. Does the uh, the effect of, of the shield wall also give me the, the advantage of the first attack that, that I wrote that I wrote on here? I, I don't know, but we'll, we'll come. We'll, let's just keep going for Sorry. right now. But go ahead. Okay, the archers uh, across the river. Are they uh, disadvantage or just adjust the Uh I would say. Uh, it's not going to be because they're pretty tall on top of their horses. So it's, I'm, I'm going to say it's not with disadvantage. Okay. The first three up there, if you shoot yep. anybody further back, no, just probably. Nice. Natural 20. Natural 20! Critical! Uh, my next highest is a 21. Does a 21 hit? One of those 21 guys? does hit. Nice. Just hits. Okay. 21 is their AC. So the first guy, double damage to the body. Thirteen points of damage to the nice. to the thing. same guy. Thirteen. Thirteen him. to the same guy. Ah, he's and getting peppered by uh, arrows. DC fifteen con. Fifteen con. Ah, he's got a nineteen with okay, his so bonus. He, he passes that. He doesn't have to worry about that. And the second guy hits him for five points of damage. Five points. Same points. Of, whoosh, yep. He's taking a beating. You can put a yellow on him if you want. That and is. that is all the archers, and that is actually the orange. But whatever. All I yeah. can do. Okay, help me out here, Matt. Uh, Matty. So, what what are you asking me? I'm confused. What um, I'm looking it's, at. It appears that I wrote on the right hand side that because of the shield wall, I got advantage on the first attack versus against the horseman. Okay. Um, so I think that, so I just you, gave them the, the disadvantage. The that's disadvantage what I was, that's why I was asking. because I, I screwed it up. That's why I, I was it really asking. should have been. Uh, I think the disadvantage was a better deal. But yeah, I think so too. But uh, no, I agree. Yeah, uh, they probably. Yeah, just, no, no, no. I'm not saying you are. Um, sorry. It all worked out. I think <laughs> not for them, but anyway, uh, Cartree. It, it, nothing else, right? No, I mean, Mighty yep, yep. uh, Cartridge, you are up, followed by Maddie. All right, well, I wait my turn to get pulled over. Just move him, move her over a little bit. Yeah, that's good. And she's gonna call down a sacred flame on this guy right there. Just <laughs> try to burn him out of existence. Okay. Gotta do a uh, deck save. Deck save. <laughs> uh, he rolls a nine. All right. No way. Ten points of damage. Ten points. And he goes down in a pile of flaming mush. 
You can put a. Uh, do we have any left? <laughs> I don't <laughs> have any over here. We, we can get take some of these. Take some of these soldiers. bodies <laughs> back here. <laughs> he was always yeah. over here, and he'd fall in there. <laughs> I got you back, drinker. <laughs> there you go. Anything else, Kartra? Uh, not at this time. Matthias, you are up. Matthias, be, uh, being the enterprising and rational sort. <laughs> Especially in the, in, when in an, in an ecstasy of battle, uh, of battle craze, <laughs> decides that he's going to pull the uh, the knight next to him off his horse while screaming in uh, in, in Hungarian and throw him into the river. Just ah, saying, the, okay, horse, the horse looks pretty almost dead. Just so you know, horses are important to Matias. Let's just say that. <laughs> okay. Let's just say that, that, that there was a that there was a very that there was a very important <laughs> spirit that uh, that appeared to him in the shape of a horse and leave okay. it at that. Okay. Let's I don't even know, know your fantasies. It wasn't a fantasy, <laughs> it was a religion. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to roll a, a strength or athletics check, if you would. Now, he, of course. He's going to try and oppose you, obviously. Okay. Uh, this is just a skill or a check? This is a skill, yeah. Yeah, it would be a skill check. Athletics, then. Okay. And he's going to be plus. Okay, he's got a 26. Okay. He's trying to resist you. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. You Ooh. yank him off the horse, and, and you drag him, and you just toss him. <coughs> I'm going to say you just pull him. He doesn't even have a chance, and he falls into the river. Then he's sinking away. <laughs> the sky is Can smiling on us man? tonight, <laughs> brothers. <laughs> I'll save, I'll save that guy. I'll pull him right out of there. Yeah. <laughs> right back on his horse. Yeah. And then drop him back in. And then pull him out. And then drop him back in. <laughs> yeah. Anything else, Matthias? Uh, then, Matthias will charge. One, two, three, four, five, six. This way, towards the his soldiers. This guy will pull this guy back. Klaus will join the front line. Please. This guy will join the front line. And then this guy. And then these two will try to um, apply first aid to the. Okay, roll a. Uh, Heal glance. A first aid check with whatever their <laughs> wisdom bonus is on their Zero. Yeah. Okay. okay, so what do I need to hit? Just, uh, just roll, roll good. Roll uh, above a 10. 12 and. Uh, uh, 11. Okay, no, they stabilize the two of them. They're both at zero. Okay. Okay. So they're, but they are stable. And then, um, this guy will take a, hit, a, sh a shot at him. Okay. So that's a plus four to hit. Um, that's a 17. That doesn't hit. The next guy on the left attacking this guy. Okay. Uh, 21. 21 is their armor that you just hit. Okay. And then in that case, uh, 1d8 plus 2, uh, 5 damage. On the that's the middle guy. The left guy. The right. left guy minus. <laughs> he slashes uh, into 40. his left arm. Yeah. Okay. And then Klaus will take it. Uh, will take a shot at the middle guy. Okay. I think Klaus is a little bit better. He is. I know. He took, he took over. He went around like sixty points of damage. Uh, that's a twenty-two. A twenty-two <laughs> hits. Klaus <laughs> jams the weapon in there. And damage. Um, nine damage. Nine damage. Nine damage. <laughs> Every little bit counts. Anything else? Uh, no. Who is managing the ballista on the other side? Uh, that was me. We we're, 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 okay, we're, go we're about to go on a round. to go on round two with the ballista. Okay, good. Because so somebody's tracking. Um, normally, it, it would be uh, yeah. Balder was doing yeah. it. Okay, that's uh, that is the end of the round. The top of the next round here. Yeah, Alderic, you are up. Alderic looks behind him and he sees or hears. Well, it's dark and raining. It is dark so and raining. See, he probably doesn't he, see him, but he, he hears him. He hears the approaching of who's coming behind him. Absolutely. Um, wow. 
Okay, Aldrich is going to dash back into battle. <laughs> okay. And... We'll stay right about here. And... I don't have a clear line of sight of Klaus, do I? <laughs> I'm going to say it's not clear. <laughs> I mean, you might man. see him. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's fighting. He's fighting. Side. There's two horses. There's three horses <laughs> in front of him. You know what my problem is? It it's is dark. It's it raining. It is foggy. I'm the only guy on the field with a crossbow. So if he gets a crossbow, both It's not clear, but... Right, you this was suspicious. Yeah. I suggest you do what thieves do and backstab. <laughs> All right. Um, crossbow to the orange horseman. Okay. You had a rapier. You drop it, or you had what do you do? How do you yeah. change weapons? Um, uh, yeah, I'm assuming I stowed the rapier when I was oh. running, and and mm. free action to stow it. Right? Not stow it. You can. You, you can yes, you can object interaction. Pull out your crossbow, mm-hmm. but then you got to drop the rapier and pick it up later or something like okay. that. Does that make sense? Yeah, we can do that. Okay, so your rapier's on the ground. You pull out your crossbow and shoot away. Uh, Fifteen plus fifteen plus eight is twenty-three. Twenty-three. Ah! Somebody gets shot in the back of their left foot. <laughs> Yeah, you should, have should have sneak with that, yeah. Yes, um, sure, yeah. absolutely. Which one were you shooting at? Uh, orange. Orange, understood. Okay, uh, do, 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 do. 10, 15, 15, and 15, and 13 is 28. 28, uh, somebody already had 28. He is just barely holding on. You can turn him red there, Reiner, please. Ah! And his foot. He's trying to reach down and take care of his foot. Anything else, sir? Um. Yeah, I'm going to try. <laughs> I don't know if it's, you can allow it. I'm going to try to, like, hide the- under the horse's body. Hide uh, beside him. Like, maybe. Yeah, I mean, there's nobody. Maybe. Immediately around you, so I would say sure, go for it. I mean, you're not gonna be able to hide in the water, but they're not looking in your direction, and there's nobody immediately around okay. you. So sure, roll. Uh, eighteen. Eighteen. Understood. Anything else? That is it. Okie doke. That is the Elderic. The opponents are up. Well, the three right in front. They're gonna slash away again. They, their swords, the one guy on the left, he's like wincing in pain, barely hanging on, and he slashes down. Um, do you want me to use disadvantage or do you want an advantage on your next attack? Okay, so then he misses. <laughs> and his second attack, natural one, fumble card, please, with the disadvantage. <coughs> Lucky you. Uh, Okay, what does he do? He stumbles, DC 15 check or becomes prone, fails with a two plus whatever his dex is. He falls off of his horse and he's laying next to it. The middle guy swings away, a three and a two, I'm not even gonna add it up. The next guy, his next swing, a uh, a 12, I'm assume, assuming misses. Misses quite handily. And the one over on the far closest to you, he swings away, and finally we got a, a 17 plus 20. A good roll. Good for him, anyway. And so he does 13 points of damage to the guy on closest to you. Okay. Back over here, there's nobody laying in the middle. These guys charge forward, and they <laughs> slam into Borinth. I would like to have that distance better. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, they're charging and they get a. They're chargers. So they slam into you. No, way hmm? no, 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 I'm not talking about <laughs> Yeah. Okay, <laughs> their attacks. Huh? Hey. Uh, I think this math. I made this too complicated for myself. Uh, <laughs> a, a 17? Hits. A 17 hits. Um, and a, oh, the other one very, very high. Um, I'm gonna be down. Yeah, uh, huh? No, 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 I'm talking, I'm talking right now. Uh, 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 
20, uh, 20 points of damage. Divided okay. by two, 10. And that was, yeah, that was two. And then he, uh, his bonus after uh, misses, believe it or not. And then his other attacks, a... His action surge abysmally bad does a... Uh, 12 doesn't hit, right? Nope. That's it. The other guy, boy, that sucked for him. Um, a 17 and a uh, 22. Yep. I'm assuming they hit. Yep. Uh, uh, yeah. 24 divided by 2 is 12. His bonus, uh, 14. I'm assuming that does not hit, no. correct? And Ooh. his action surge, a natural 20 critical card, oh, please. And a, an 18. I'm assuming those hit. So, yeah. uh, triple oh, critical, there, okay. three critical cards, yeah, please. Draw I three critical you, cards from the deck. What? Oh, the attacker decides, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, only one of those take effect. So the attacker decides which ones take effect. Oh. Give me three. Okay, which one's the worst one here? We got double damage. <laughs> Disfiguring scar, double damage to the body. Uh, anything special? Uh, I think he likes to scar. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> scars. Give me really cool scars. I don't think the enemy wants the scars though. We'll take the. Try. <laughs> take the double damage to the body, and you take a. Okay, roll a con save. A DC 15 con save, which should be easy for you. Yeah. Uh, so no extra. 19. 19. Okay, so you don't take the continuing damage, you just take the mm. double damage. Lucky. So when you're unconscious, the double <laughs> damage is me being unconscious. Uh, you, uh, you take 8 and 12 from, uh, 12 from the first one, and you take uh, so wait, wait, wait. So 12 divided by 2 is 6. You take 6 okay. from the one, and then you take uh, 8. Uh, 12, 12, 24, and 12 from, 24 divided by 2, 12 from the second one, if that makes sense. Carry the 3. Uh, exactly. Too much math. And I think that huh. is the opponent's. You got all that? Yep. Good, close enough anyway? Yeah. Uh, Boris. Are you three? <laughs> I have Boris. one hit point. <laughs> <laughs> I told you need, baby. I told you need. No, it's not, because I can't get out of here. Boris, you are I up. I got you. It's all right. All right. Um, I got you. Just stay there. All right, screw it. I'm going to attack him. Just don't, don't fail. Care. Just don't, don't fail. Care. All right, I'm going to swing right through them. I'm gonna, of course I'm, you are. I'm, swing away. Yep. First attack. Natural 20. Natural yeah. 20. Critical. Okay, so critical hit. You're in so much trouble now. <laughs> Double damage head. A knight. CC 15 I have made a I have made a severe and continuous DC 15, I'm sorry, con save. DC 15 <laughs> con save. Uh, they're plus uh, 11, plus 4, exactly 15. Yep. Okay, so let me roll my damage, right? So 17 times 2. Is this white horse or black horse? Uh, Which way so are you the First, the first one that I hit. Which way are you sw swinging? That way. So I'm swinging from right to left. Okay. Just say right. Okay. To left. Good. Okay. So. Right. Uh, so by the way, so it's a natural twenty, so that's a thirty-two to hit. So the Ow! other one should get hit. So. Um, of course, it so, goes through both of them. Wait, I just lost my train of thought now. <laughs> what did I say? It was it was? 17. Seventeen. Double. Double. It's thirty-four. Thirty-four plus my brutal critical, which is an extra ten. 44 plus your modifier. Nice. That's every, that's all included. Okay. So, <laughs> right? So 44 <laughs> points of damage. 44. <laughs> they right. are shocked and amazed, but they are right. still standing. All right. Second Orange. attack. Uh, just wait. They might, they <laughs> might be waiting. Yeah. Sixteen points of damage. Uh, did he pass his con save? By yeah. The way? Yes. Okay. Yep. Right, uh, Sixteen to 16 each. Sixteen points of damage uh, each. They're both up. And then one more attack. Twenty-six to hit. The twenty-six and the twenty-two. So, yep. Twenty-six and the twenty-two. Yep. And that is seventeen points of damage. Oh my gosh! They both go down. <laughs> <laughs> 
absolutely. Hit the horn! Hit the go, horn! <laughs> I'm gonna slam the horn. I'm gonna blow the horn. Go to, go down to one knee. <laughs> down to one knee. <laughs> Way on the horn. Watch Russ looks around <laughs> like this. Oh. No, okay. no, wait, no, he's just—he's—he's too—he's too absorbed by the by the yeah. ecstasy of war to really notice yeah. his ears are hurting. Right oh now. man, <laughs> Zyman, you are up, followed by Karcher Mattias. Reach out, I grab Karcher and haul her across. Plot me by the Drager. Drop, drop her right next to there. And now the archers. The archers far away. At the lead. Uh, yeah. the. One guy's prone on the bit. ground, right? He's also right next to the cliff. Yeah, so it might be hard to get him out. Yeah, well, I might be able to get him out. Oh, okay. Ooh, 20. A natural fumble, a natural critical. Wow, you got a pretty good assortment there. Um, and two 23s should hit. As 23s well. both hit. Arrows okay. strike home. Mm-hmm. So the critical. Uh, max damage leg. Uh, nine points of damage. And uh, ten feet of movement, but he's on a horse. So nine points of damage on that one right that there. Critical miss. Okay. Wow. Did, is it that same kid from the other team who just switched sides? <laughs> he, he pa- passed <laughs> the thirteen year old kid with the boiler fail, pot so helmet. <laughs> Another eight points total on him. Eight more to him. His arrows strike home. The guys cross the river. We'll fire at the two guys still on their horses. Uh, 21 hits, right? A 21 does hit. That's the only one. Uh, five points to the guy in the center. The center was same one again. Five yep. more points. He, you can change that to orange. He is just getting pummeled with arrows and just coming from every direction. And that is Hitting it for Hitting him in the full body, in the chest, and in the right leg. Uh, that is... That's it for Zyman and the Archer. Karcher, you are up. Hey, Karcher, like, puts her hand right on uh, Borenth's like, shoulder there, and she's like, oh, father. <laughs> bloody ass shoulder. <laughs> oh, father, bring your Drangar back to full health if you can. And she upcasts a cure wounds to level five. And oh sh- my gosh! Oh. Pump it, it in! <laughs> Pump it in! For 5d8 level plus five. 12. Wow, that's very generous of you. Holy crap. Well. Uh, you are a tank. Yeah. <laughs> and the tank has one hit point. <laughs> right now you're a glass cannon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 32. Are you calling him Dylan? Wow. 32, <laughs> 32 health. Okay. 32, nicely done. Yeah. Cartra, anything else? Uh, she'll just kind of get her shield and everything, kind of brace herself, turn around in case anybody decides to come this way. Okay, understood. And Mattias, you are up. Okay, first <coughs> off, I'm going to handle the, ma- the men-at-arms first this time. Okay. All right, so this guy reaches forward and stabs the knight who's on the ground. Mm, I'll give him advantage. Strike away. He Isn't just, he dead? Can, can, no. no, he's prone. <coughs> he's prone. He is not in uh, good shape, though. Natural 20. Natural 20. <laughs> a critical card, sir. Lost hand. Ah, he just Maximum jabbed. damage and loses complete use of his primary hand. So, 10 damage. He jabs right into his right hand and rips it right off, and he just sputters and dies at that point. He only, he only. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last of my blood. <laughs> Is the okay. flesh wound? Yeah. <laughs> Merely a flesh wound. The preacher runs forward to join the, to join the fray while the drummer drags this guy back and performs first aid. So first, so first aid roll. Like this. That's first aid. Um, that's an eleven. Eleven. He is stable. Okay. Um, and then Klaus will make an attack against the middle guy. The other. He reaches up and jabs his sword. Another natural 20! <laughs> jabs his sword forward! Hey. 
show off. <laughs> yeah, Maximum damage class. body. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, class, uh, together, and he has to make a DC to 10 con damage <laughs> or <laughs> extra <laughs> climate. D- he DC 10 con, he rolls a 5 plus 4, 9, he fails. So he takes an additional 1d4 points of damage at the end of each turn until he Ooh. makes the saving okay, throw. Okay, you're going to have to remind me about that. I will keep it here with me. Okay, so he did, so he did um, ma- maximum so he damage, so that is 11 way. damage. 11! <laughs> and ah. and um, each, time he, each time that knight takes a turn, he takes 1d, 1d4 yeah. until okay. he makes the saving throw. Okay, good. Does he take the d4 this round too, or no? No, I think no. it's only when he takes his turn. Okay, good. Okay, he jabbed him in the right leg, and he's just like bleeding out slowly. Okay, and, and the preacher will reach up and just try to whack the, the guy on the left with his mace. <laughs> okay, swing away. And that is a 10. A 10, it just chinks against his armor. Anything else? Now Matthias, correct? Yes. And Matthias is going to run over to this guy over here and and, and make a couple mighty swings with Bethel. I'm going to swing him. He's up I'm behind. I'm going to give you advantage because you're striking him from the rear there. He doesn't even know you're behind him at the moment. Okay, so first attack. A um, 24. A 24, he, you just find a, the sweet spot between the back of his armor and, and where there's chain there, and it cuts right through his buttocks. It's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> My best feature! Eight, 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 16 damage. 16 points. He wasn't that badly wounded, but now he is. And second attack. Damn it. How are you missing that gigantic tray? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and second roll. And that's plus eight. That is a not, that is a twenty-six. Twenty-six hits again. He just this time he kept it in his buttocks and like <laughs> twisted it around. And that <laughs> is thirteen more damage. Thirteen more on top of what you did. So he, okay, he is still up, and he's you can change him to orange if you want. Gave him a new cornhole. <laughs> Anything else, sir? Uh, no, just Matthias laughing maniacally. In the laughing background. maniacally. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I have a rumor really We're going to take a phone quick phone break so I can refill my drink. You're watching the Carpathian Adventure on oh, Seven me, Side of the Time, he's and we like will this. be oh, right yeah. back. <laughs> Let's just yeah. say.
even singing or something. I didn't know that they were any different. I could have You're watching the Carpathian Adventure on Seven Sided Die. We we joined the party in the battle. I'm sorry, you were saying. I think the the guy in the fancier armor on the white horse. What? I mean, you have you inspected his? No, I haven't yet. Body or? Anything? I'm talking out of character. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, it's all good. Uh, we're back. It's uh, around like eight, I think, if I remember I correctly. So. Alderic, you are up. Okay, <clears throat> work with me here. Work with me. Work with me. Work with me. Alderic wants to dash ahead. Mm. He wants to leap onto the back of the horse and knife. The middle horseman, kind of like in the neck, collarbone region. Sure, you're you're leaping onto his horse, correct? Yes. yes. Okay, you charge forward, dash, dash. Do an acrobatics check, sir. You got it. And I think you have a you can roll once or well, twice or something like that with advantage too on it. If uh, yeah, you have well, a special well, ability, like the three amigos. Remember the three amigos would run mm-hmm. and jump up onto the butt of the horse. Okay, that is a unnatural twenty. <laughs> an unnatural twenty. You <laughs> leap up onto the horse, and you are there. <laughs> I love that movie yeah, so much. You, take out the you have completely surprised him. He shot the invisible You dropped sword. your crossbow. Oh, natural 20. Natural 20. Oh my. Okay. It will be max damage plus triple damage to the arm. Ah! The attack hits the target in the arm and causes triple the amount of damage normally allowed for your attack. Ah! Uh, saving throw, DC 18 strength or drop item. DC 18, he rolls a 19 plus whatever okay. whatever it is. Let's see if he's, arm after all Let's see if he's alive. Uh, you roll your so damage. Triple da- well, it's going to be it's going to be damage. max anyway because of max surprise. Triple. So max is 6, 12, 8, 24 plus H30, it's 37 triple. So he's probably 37. He literally Jeez. like. Collapse at 90. <laughs> Some, he literally, you, you, you dug it so deep into his arm, you feel like you're pulling it out, and the arm is coming off as you pull it out. And I am on the horse now. Well, we don't, well, we don't need this card anymore. Yeah, and he, 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 as he's bleeding out of his foot, the yeah, blood I'm out sure, of his yeah. foot stops <laughs> bleeding. I kick him off the horse, and I take the reins of the horse. Okay, yeah, roll right. an animal handling okay. check with disadvantage. I'm waiting for him to get bucked off and fall into the river. Oh, uh, seven. <laughs> seven. You're you're guiding, but you're having a tough time. This is a war horse. This is not like a war, a riding horse. You're having a tough time. It's not your normal forte, but you can kind of force it forward. Where are you going with it? Uh, I'm just trying to keep the reins, not going to the river. Okay. And I kind of make eye contact with Klaus. Mm, well, <laughs> it is dark. Guy, it guy, is guy. raining. It is foggy. He sees the guy fall off the horse. He sees this shadowed figure there in front of him. Roll a like uh, performance flash lightning check. What are you trying to do for me? Uh, that's a two. A two. <laughs> you get this sense. You're like, it's me. <laughs> Yeah. He's not going to have And he doesn't see you in this okay, darkness. I'll, I'll take it for you. <laughs> He's just staring at you rather confusedly and with one eyebrow raised. I mean, he doesn't think you're an enemy yet. <laughs> I'll, I'll say something interesting in German like, uh, uh, All hail Aldrich. <laughs> all hail Aldrich. It, it... Okay. <laughs> Savior of Kyber. Who's uh, Aldrich? That's <laughs> classic. Who, who is Aldrich? <laughs> uh, okay, end anything else, Aldrich? End of turn. That is the opponents. There's one guy left there. The he is not yeah. in a great position. Well, he's going to yeah. turn, and he's just... Actually, he's going to sh- strike once oh, in front of him, and he's going to turn and strike once behind him. To turn it in his seat. He strikes once in oops, once in front of him. A 14, I'm assuming, does not hit, correct? It does not. And then the behind him, swinging away, a 2 plus, and he is 7. He swings away behind him, and I think uh, that is all he can do. And that is it for the opponents that you see on the battlefield. Um, Borinth, you are up. Okay. I'm gonna take one swipe at the horse and put that animal out of its misery. The wounded one on the far, yeah. okay. 25 to hit? The 25, it goes down. Okay, so the horse goes down. 
And then I'm gonna look down at the at the guys at my feet. Do I recognize any of them? Or it is dark. You di- you get down low when you're peering down at them, and you lift up their visor and you're looking at their faces, and, and you don't recognize anything special about their armor or anything like that. Like uh, is. One of them may be displaying some sort of a rank or anything like that. Anything fancy about it. Whatsoever. Every single set of armor is slightly different despite the way the figures mm-hmm. look. And their shields have some heraldic em- emblems on them. You assume you're not ignorant about heraldry. You assume they're a family crest. Okay. That these were knights of, okay. uh, of some sort. Okay. That not necessarily... You know, there's no lieutenant bars or captain right. bars. But, okay. But they were they were knights in their own right. Okay. Um, I'm just thinking that if it was like a captain or somebody who was like high ranking, they would probably be. Eh, it would be obvious. Uh, yeah, you, that would be a fair assumption. You okay. look down. You don't. Know, you think they were knights? They're, they okay. appear to be young noblemen okay. who were, you know, hyped up and saw an opportunity and charged blindly in the battle when they saw an opening. Okay. I'm going to um, use my there movement. There are too many parallels to this situation for my liking. <laughs> I'm just going to use my movement um, and just kind of come this way. Um, I could probably get to about there. I have 40. But you could easily get farther. I'm yeah, well, I'm yeah, that's right. You did some other things. Sure, that works. I'm going to just go right about there. I don't okay. want to go right into the fray yet. Okay. Well, that Good guy's stuff. cornered. Basically, I'm trying to. I'm blocking off that road. So if he tries to turn and run, he's gonna have to go past uh, me. It's more or less what I'm. You know, kind of hard pressed to do that at this point. Um, that is boring. Simon, you are up. I will do the ballista first. Okay. At the sole standing guy. Yes. Oof. Don't if you hit him, he probably go flying oh. into the river. <laughs> Let's try that. Ooh. Oh, 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 you natural go. 20. You didn't natural make that natural 20. one? Oh my. He goes, <laughs> flying, <laughs> natural he goes flying into the river. The angle is uh, triple, like, triple damage leg. All right. Yeah, so I'm going to say that's probably a pretty darn good possibility. Pins his leg across the river. Onto the Twenty-eight tripled to his leg. Oh my gosh! <laughs> He's sitting there <laughs> swinging away at Mattias. He had turned to swing at Mattias, and all of a sudden, this ballista bolt comes literally ripping right through his right, right How much side, is it? out his left side. Twenty-eight tripled. Twenty-eight oh, tripled. <laughs> so like ninety points on top of what he had left. Wow! And he, he's just. I don't, he's dead, so I don't know if he can get a, a strength check to stay in the saddle. He just gets tossed right into the river. His body just like falls and just starts nice. going downstream, if you will. It will disappears under the water in the darkness. Yeah, the horse is <laughs> My that is Zyman. Yeah, Cart- yeah, that'll and, be that'll else? be it. I, I don't I don't really I don't think I need to do anything, or the archers need to do anything. There's no way left on the field, right? Just the horses. You don't see anybody. Nope. Okay. Um, Zyman, no. that is Zyman. Carter, you are up. Uh, using my dark vision, do I see anything out that way? Anybody you sneaking look, around? What is it? Sixty feet. Sixty feet. You look sixty feet down the road and you don't see anything at this time. All right. And. You know that it's also a little bit foggy, so even your dark vision doesn't cut through fog necessarily, but it does see, but even your 60 feet, you don't see anything at the moment. All right. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm gonna go over here. Uh, heal Borth with another upcasted Cure Wounds. This time a level four spell. <laughs> Men of Kyborg. <laughs> We have won this this round. 21. 31. Be prepared. Nice. Thirty-one. For the possibility. That's almost, that was better, almost better than the yeah the fifth level. Mm-hmm. Anything else, Corcho? That's beautiful. Uh, no, that's it for now. Okay, Mattias, you give your rousing speech. Yeah. Uh, what do you? Anything else? Some video. Bring the wounded back across 64. the bridge. I'm at sixty-four. Okay. And then see to your own wounds. We may not have long to to take care of everything. You've done well. It has been 
And no matter what, it has been my honor to, to stand amongst you as both a fellow soldier and as your commander this night. Uh, I could not have asked for finer men. You're welcome. Certain present company <laughs> excluded. <laughs> uh, Klaus nods um, and looks to him and then, yeah. <laughs> uh, good stuff. We are out of combat technically at this point, okay? Um, you don't see any enemies. What are you guys doing? I'm gonna walk past the Kartra and I'm gonna put my hand on top of Kartra's head and just be like, Good job, little one. Good job, little one. Thank Aye. You. Let's go. Let's go get some. Let's get some go ale. get these guys formed back up. We can't lose this line. We gotta hold this line still. Let's get these guys back in shape. Can I start bandaging them up and stuff like that? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> are these guys dead or? Is there any? No, they're unconscious. Okay. <clears throat> so are there any in here? Oh, those are all both pulled back. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Um, all of your, um, all of your men at arms uh, pop a level, so they're all level three. They're all um, battle master equivalents uh, for your archers okay. and for your men at arms. So and just add a flat ten hit points to whatever their <coughs> current hit points are. Their max becomes ten more than it was. Make sense? Okay. Can yes. I? So the horse to the rear. So of course you does can. that mean adding ten to their current hit points as well? Yes, it does. I am actually. This is going to sound really brutal, but I am going to keep killing horses. Slaughter those horses one okay. at a time in the street like and lay, lay them in the street and leave them as like a barricade. Okay. So they're dead in the street. So sure, the dead horses yep. laying in the street. Exactly. Yep. Okay. Um, We can really then, do that with uh, the bodies, also, to be honest. What's that? We can really do that with all the bodies, why we, too. Why don't you start looting the bodies? Yeah, yes. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go through those guys, those two guys that, when I killed those two horses, those two guys that were over there, I'm just gonna go through their stuff. Just rummage <sighs> through their armor and stuff and see what they got. Okay. Um, um, but and all well, the while, I'm gonna be calling for, to reform the lines, and... Um, well, Ma Matias will, will have led um, the, the horses that weren't Killed um, behind uh, behind our lines. Why won't you just kill him and create more of a barricade? Because he uh, because he has a soft spot for horses. <laughs> but we, uh, it's a weird thing. I have a, I have a soft spot for surviving. You know what? Well, let's put the horses over here for getaway. In case we need to like beat a hasty retreat. We actually have horses back at the castle at the keep. I think. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go through those two guys. Those, our horses are those two right. guys, those last two guys that charged in, I'm gonna go through all their belongings. Kind of transport horses because there's only so many horses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bear with me one second here. Yeah, we're complaining about the top spot. <laughs> horses. Not enough horses. <laughs> Where did I leave? Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four. According to this, we should have. Okay, we have three down, one dead. Okay, well, I don't know what we should have. I'm just gonna say you find 170 gold. You find uh, 500 silver pieces on all of the bodies, and um, for some reason there were two more sp two more men at arms listed. On as you're going through them, you note that some of them are still alive, albeit unconscious. Do you? What do you do? Okay. Um, which, which guys are we talking about? Uh, the two up front there, or um, the knights? One or? of the two up front. And two of those in the front line against the uh, men at arms. Okay. Uh, the one of the ones that um, the knights that I took down over there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to uh, use a lay on hands on one of them, and bring it back to consciousness. But while I have my blade right at his throat. <sighs> and his helmet's off, right? And I'm going to grab him by like. Scruff of the neck or the hair, and I'm gonna drag him back. 
keeping my weapon blade right at his throat. Yes. Make a move, and I'll slit it. Dragging him back to the, back into behind here. Okay. Um, As for the other two, are they knights or men at arms? Uh, they were all knights. Oh, okay. They were all knights. All right, so all the survivors are knights. So is that this guy? There's three. Would you say uh, that this guy, maybe? Sure, that's right? good enough. Okay. And drag him back here. We'll just say these three guys here. And he looks striking if you to Klaus. keep them alive, it's up to you. Just say there's two up here. It's a lot okay. of these people. I'm I don't get, know, Mattias, you may not know that. I mean, as I'm dragging him back, I'm going to tell the, I'm going to tell these guys to kill the rest. Are you certain of that? I don't. I just push everybody out of the way and say, "Kill those two. And I got this one. I'm going to drag them back. I'll do it. Do it. <laughs> kill them. <laughs> They're prone and unconscious. They're dead. You don't need to roll. Ma- Ma- Macias looks like he's about to protest, but then uh, they're dead before he actually manages to say anything. Any valuables? And I'm going to. Um, what you found? I, you found a total of a, on all of them, 170 oh, gold. Yeah. Got that already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that was everybody. I uh, I lost something back here. I got my foot on his throat. <clears throat> right. I got my axe right there. <clears throat> the bank's not. You know. Yeah. Oh, there's the bank. Seriously. <laughs> How many more men are coming on the way? Thousands. Thousands? Yeah. How many days away? Mm. Mm. Some perhaps tonight, some perhaps tomorrow. This was Leopold's army, right? Yes, it is. Leopold uh, of Frederick the Fair, yes. Leopold's Leopold's with this, with you now? Here? He's with the main body. You know where the Swede is? You know where the Swede is? I think I know who you mean. Where is he? Um, He's not far behind. Is he in the camp, in in the town? I don't know if he's in the camp or not. I'll squeeze him a little bit harder. I don't know. Does he have a magic friend with him? Yeah. You guys pay him to fight for you? Uh, me? Is he a mercenary? Yeah, the, the Swede is a mercenary. Yeah. Does he have his own men with him as well? Nine. So he's commanding some of your men? Nine. He is not commanding anyone, to the best of my knowledge. He's if it is fighting. the man you speak of, he is not commanding anyone. He is just a hired gun. To be thrown in as needed. Does anybody else have anything for this guy? The cell sword. Does anybody else have anything else for him? Do you want to send him back and see if we can have the Swede come out for a parlay? The Swede's coming. We just want to wait then. Yeah. Well, send him to Valhalla then. I am worth money. My family <laughs> will ransom. As is typically done in a civilized Did you get a name? Conduct. Yeah, what is your name? My name is Nicholas Bachman. I don't like your name, Nicholas. Anybody, anybody and what is your you? name if I'm going to die? So My name is I Borinth. know where to look for you. My name is Borinth. I'm a Borinth. Ursus Spileus. You and your men ravaged this countryside. Killed my people. My men killed your people. Uh, we same your people, people. You, the same people that come fighting for. You come through these towns like this. What do you think is going to happen when you get into this city? What were you going to do to those people inside? Are you talking about Kyberg? Sure. Well, hopefully they would surrender. You know, obviously that's not not going to happen. Uh, I know what happens when when eventually, like you. eventually all sieges end. Either the sieges break it off, or those inside capitulate. Hmm. Well, your time has come. I was ready before to meet my maker and to meet God. God will embrace me. Where is he from? 
He sounds. Are you up there with him? Hey, uh, I'm assuming you're all over in that general area. The men yeah. at arms are holding the line. His name is Nicholas. He's obviously is. He's obviously German of some sort. Could I have the name again, please? Nicholas Bachmann. Bachmann. Where are you from, Nicholas? Mm. I'm from the Thuringia. Thuringia. And you? So you're there? Yeah, I'm there. Is everybody else there? I'm probably there, just... I am not there. I am back this way. I went with my archers up on the ridge. Take too long and for me to get over there. What? Would Thuringia be a region or, or a place that most people be familiar with? Uh, or is it a remote? Mm, yeah, I would think so. He looks yeah. up at you. Do you guys have light? Some type of light, I'm assuming? I mean, you're behind the cliff. Yeah, it's up to I you. mean, yeah, I'd imagine there's some light yeah. around. Yeah. He says, yeah. He seems to be looking at you rather weirdly. And he says, uh, what are you doing here? My business is my own. I'm going to look at Alder. Do you know this man? No. Do you, Why are you asking? I'm going to Nicholas. Do you know this man? Are you not from Lundberg? Have I heard of Lundberg? Out of, out of the game, have I heard of Lundberg? Roll an investigation check. Or roll an insight check. Insight. 22. Uh, you've heard of Lundberg. You know that it's a... Um, is it duchy? Or is it a barony? Uh, it's a duchy or a barony in north central what today we would call Germany, but back then they were just German states, or principalities. And he goes, uh, yeah. What, what would a German province have to do with me? Principality. Uh, I, you look like somebody uh, um, I had met in Lundberg. With hands and men. <laughs> mm. Mm. Who no. is this person you think he looks like? Uh, there's a, a uh, William, the son of. Uh, Henry, uh, Duke of Brunswick, Grubenhagen. Do you have any idea what he's talking about? Nothing. Yeah. You are not William. Do you have a brother? None. I come from the barbaric tribes of baden -Bader. Yes, they fight nobly. Yes, we do. For barbarians, yes. Uh, for barbarians, right. We have no ill will with your, with the barbarians. You are facing your own trials. We are brought on by armies like this. No. Not no. Trials. What makes you say that? There are other things in the bay, in the in those dark woods, such as. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know rumors, and you fight among your own tribes still, even after all of these years. This is and true. And you sacrifice your own people for your freedom. Well, it's for freedom. <sighs> Not the freedom that they have. What about your freedom? What are you willing to do for your freedom? I am willing to die for God. That doesn't sound like freedom to me. The afterlife will, the next life, will be better than this, and I have done my duty. Have you? Yes. I don't want to die. My family will ransom me, but it doesn't seem like you're willing to pay, so I'm not going to cower before Money you. Money does not interest us. Does not interest me, as you can tell. Is he bound? 
No, I got him thrown on the floor. I got my he doesn't seat. seem to be. I got my weak at very much He doesn't seem to be. Even if you, he's got one hit you point. You don't get the impression that you have to. I mean, you can. No, I don't want to. Uh, I, 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 I would like a few words with him when this interrogation is done. Uh, if you're planning on killing him or something first, talk I to him. Like some words. Talk to him. I've if you want to talk to him, talk to him. Otherwise, to speak on this entire matter, considering my own transgressions against my code earlier this night. Therefore, I shall remain silent. Because uh, much as I loathe it, <clears throat> I'm gonna pull you guys aside. You know, my mother was German, and uh, she fled from Germany when I was a child. I've always been curious about what she left behind. I'd like to speak to him. Sure. So talk to him. Okay. Do so. so. I'd say that privately. Then. So I'm going to roll to him. And, uh, tell me about uh, this William. <coughs> um, you look remarkably like him in the... But it is dark. It is raining. There's fog. I could be wrong. I mistook. You for William. And he is the son of the Duke? He's the son of Henry the First, Duke of uh, Brunswick Grubenbergen. Uh, he's the seventh son, but still the son of Henry. And, uh, he is my age. I mistook you for him. So, yes. Tell me about this Henry. What is he like? Uh, the Duke. He's a noble. He's in, not set to inherit anything directly, except perhaps the, a duchy. So uh, perhaps he... Uh, in the goings on of nobles. Uh, may I have a drink? I am parched. Wine? Wine is good, yeah. Uh, Dunker. He he chokes it back. You can tell him he's just parched from just loss of blood and and the fight itself. Um, I don't know him that well. Why do you seem so inquisitive? I mistook you. I have questions. Uh, you seem very curious. And uh, how far is? Brunswick from here. Uh, Fort or on horseback? Um, maybe a couple of weeks. weeks. Mm -hmm. Not very far. The Henry uh, supports Frederick in his claim for the empire. Leopold. Yeah. Uh, Leopold. Uh, I Leopold. don't know who uh, Henry supports. That's a very good question. I don't know. I mean, these are. I uh, am a knight. I am not a. I am not the, the same level as a duke. I did, his interactions would not be with one like myself. You are not from Lundberg, or no? Lundberg. I am not from Lundberg. Interesting. And uh, Henry is with the uh, wife now. Uh, I, to the best of my knowledge, he might be on his second or third. But yeah. I'm not sure if you wish um, I am your prisoner and on my honor I swear that I will not flee if I am what is the term uh, paroled I will not raise arms against you and when this is over, whichever way it goes, if you desire, I can show you where to go and take you there as need be until I am released from service. How accustomed to the troop positions are you? If I was to put you in front of a map, would you be able to show us, best to your knowledge, the troop positions? Uh, the troop? The, the army. Uh, 
I mean, I know where the, I was with the lead elements. I don't know how far back, but they can't be more than a day or two at the most. How much is, how much is left to your lead, the lead element? Enough. Oh, seems pretty worthless to me. Who am? Sure. It's just baggage. Hmm. I think we should hold on to him. We can always kill him whenever we wish. Whilst I disagree with the with the latter statement and possibly the reasoning, I agree with the sentiment presented by Sir Alderic. Matthias, can he be trusted at his word as a knight? If he is truly a follower of the of the code to which we have all sworn, to which we have all, in some sense or other, sworn ourselves, then he then he has given his word, and that is it. And his word is his bond. All right then. I'm gonna reach down, and grab him, two hands, and lift him up. I'm gonna say to the other guys, bind him. He is at worst excess baggage. At best, he is uh, a ransom and perhaps information. Just bind him. Bring him back to the fort. Throw him in a cell. Well, Nicholas, sleep well tonight. We'll most likely kill you in the morning. <laughs> I'll stop the <laughs> Push him down. Push him down the road. Have some of the men take him back. Okay. Towards the castle. Some of the men uh, take him back. Two of the gentlemen from the tower, um, mm-hmm. two of the three, uh, come down and escort him up. Uh, yeah, you got us there. Whew, very good. Um, as a... It's a good thing they didn't get through the tower. <laughs> it would have been very bad for them. Yeah, <laughs> we will escort them up to the uh, okay. up to the castle. And you can Madness. see that he's wiping yes. sweat away from his brow. I think we've done all we can over this part. We have another frontal assault here. I don't think we're going to weather it very well. No. The wizard's out of spells. You know, the men are tired. Well, we. I mean, we I can't just. Uh, we can't just. I mean, we can't just abandon this post yet. Not while this lead element is out there. I think we should station as many men up here as we can, um, leave the men up on the ridge, leave the archers. Maybe we should pull them in back this way because those horses can just keep flying. Around the corner, yes. Yeah. 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 That's what. Reposition, I mean. restage, right? Around the bend so they can't see. Any Anybody who's, yeah, reform that line. We're reform. We got. We can't lose. Just leave the defensive line. Oh, Otherwise, yeah. everything we've yeah. done is pointless. Yeah. Right? We I, have like, to rebuild that line. Bandage these guys up without using spells. Bring them back or something. Maybe using some. Medicine well, there, there's got to be some medics or something that can come from the castle to help some of these guys. Um, right? Heal up. Roll in. And- uh, roll a. Georgie is not front line. Inside check. <laughs> Georgie is not the line of two. Yes, I did. I was just moving people around oh, uh, so, that, so that I could rearrange the line. Okay. You Thanks and Aldric and Kotra, you all arrange yourselves however you like. We just gotta hold this line. We have to hold the line. But we, we also really need to speak. Choice. We also need to speak to our friends in the organizing this. Yeah. I mean, we've only been gone for like two and a half hours. Yeah, probably four, a hour, more four hours. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty late at Six night. Hours. Yeah. It's pretty late at night. I don't know if we can expect another nighttime assault. <coughs> in all honesty, we can rest up some, but I mean, Maybe we can get we some need a, <laughs> You need a week to get your snow slots back, so that's not happening. I get a couple on a short rest, but that's still okay. only four hours. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> you mean you're out of spells? If you're not ever uh, powerful ready. spells on that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty banged up. That's about it. Kartra, I'm exhausted. Karcher looks down at the water and, and just this burst of inspiration comes to her and she's like from her one of her classes or her tut- tutelages, if you will, in, in with one of her mentors in the past. That there are ways to use um, leeches and put them on one's no. body to heal them. Oh, okay. And maggots as well. But looking down at the water, you realize that this earth is not dry enough <clears throat> for maggots, but there might be leeches at the water line. Oh, okay. And if you were to look for them, that 
I, you might. It might work. It wasn't something that you did that often, but you seem to recall that it sometimes worked. All right, I will go down by the water's edge and see what I can find. Okay, you go down by the water's edge. In a bucket, you know. <laughs> a bucket. It's it's a steep decline, and you're all you're kind of like stopping yourself from to roll an athletics or acrobatics check uh, with advantage because you're going really really slow. Uh, Sixteen. Sixteen. It's slippery. You start to start to slide going down the edge of this rocky cliff. It's not that far to the water. It's just that it's just kind of sheer and it goes deep in and you're there and it's a little bit muddy at the edge and you start looking around it's dark or and you're using your night vision trying to scope around give me an investigation check investigation uh, 10 10 okay. unless you think perception will work better uh, well, you're digging around, looking for stuff. You dig your hand into the mud. How much time do you spend? Uh, I'll spend at least, well, 20, 30 minutes to do this. Okay. I'll give you another uh, give you another investigation check with advantage this time. You don't find it. It takes you a little while. Oh, and Gordon helped me with that, too. Oh, there we go. 20. Oh, okay. Dirty 20. Dirty 20. It's still a 20, nonetheless. What's your bonus that got you to a 20? Uh, it was a 3. Okay. Okay, so you're plus 3? Okay, in other words. Well, she used guidance, so that kind of helps her out. That's oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, fair Excuse enough. No, no problem. So, um, bless you. you. You're rummaging around in the dirt, and go ahead and roll me a D4, a D6, and a D8. Tell me what you roll on each. In that I got order. a four on the D4, a four on the D6, and a three on the D8. Okay, you find um, four uh, large leeches, and what in that sequence? Large, medium, small leeches, whatever that sequence was. All right. Does that make sense? Yeah. The instructions on how to use them are in the meetup under. I think there's a. Uh, a page that says, I think it oh. says more medicine for medics, I believe it's called. Or clerics or something like that. Uh, so you can look up how to use those. Okay. Okay. What else is everybody else doing? Uh, I'm just going to take out the spyglass, and even though it is dark, I am just going to try to scan okay, the village looks, to see if anything picks up my Do you eye. have the instructions for it? Did I give them to you? Or? Uh, yeah, I can... I forget. Does it uh, work at night, or does it... Uh, nothing special. I can just zoom in with it. Yeah, uh, I don't think it thing. actually cuts through yeah, darkness. No, no, I don't think so. So, you're looking down, it's just dark as all dark. What are you guys doing with all these bodies? I don't see any, like, torches moving or anything. Uh, you like see lots of torches off in the distance. But nothing that seems like it's I mean, on its way towards us, from what I can tell. Not okay. at the moment. Is this Apparently. my die? I'm assuming so. Oh, I believe so. You just put, I'm going to assume the bodies are still there. But if you could just pile these into one of those dishes, because we're gonna, we might need them again, if that makes sense. <laughs> I'll put them over here. Okay. Because nobody's gonna be up here. Mm, unlikely, highly unlikely, but it's possible. Okay. So well, if somebody does end up up there, I'll take them off. There you go. <laughs> um, so was there a third dead horse you guys piled? Okay, so there's a bunch of dead horses piled over there. Understood. Any other horses you ride back, or you? walk them back to the back. I'm just going to go to the back of the the road over there. I'm going to sit down in the in the in the crook of the road and I'm just going to open up my music box and listen to some childhood tunes. And contemplatively just think of far off places. Matias while the men at arms are are resting and talking amongst themselves. Matias is, is is kneeling at the edge of the killing field, just sort of staring at it. Tengri, guide me to, to the righteous path, but I know what I must do. Both to be right and to ensure the balance of the, wor of the world and the, life and the lives in it. So that I might See that perhaps there is some meaning and righteousness even to this 
slaughter. I'm gonna come up behind Mattias because I'm right behind him. Don't look so down, Mattias. Mm -hmm. This is what we do. This is why we're here. We are warriors. These men. Warriors for a cause. These men that lie dead before you, they were warriors too. They fought. This is what we do. If we weren't doing this, if they weren't doing this, what would they be doing? This is in us. It's in our blood. And how much fight to the very end. And how much more will be spilled before then? Hmm? As much as we have. And is it? And do you believe that that is for a cause, or do you believe that is simply the way things are? It's just the way things are. So we might as well make it for a good cause. If it wasn't us out here doing it, it'd be somebody else. And if it wasn't them charging into us like that, it'd be somebody else. This is the way the world is. It's brutal. But we can control. We can control the reason. The reason why. We have that power. We are making the choices. And we're going to make them make their choices. The worst part is I've seen worse. I'm sure you have. As have I. In Carpathia, I would see entire battles where hundreds would lie dead on either side. And the, and the battles would not, would not end. You may Woden look down simply... upon you. You're going to see that hopefully time and time again. Because <laughs> this is what we do. What would you be doing? You're going to be sitting in there living a farmer's life? Bouncing a couple kids on your knee? I would be a nobleman. Doing what? No, stop. Having leading wenches feed you leading food? Leading men. Governing get, lands. Getting weak. Do you sit there and let other men do your job for you? No, Matthias. You're a warrior. You're a fighter. Once you stop fighting, you become weak. You become soft. You can you can have some penance for these people. You can have some respect for them that they died the way that they wanted to die. They may not have liked it at the time. But they lived it right to the very end. So many dead are not even certainty whether it is a victory or a loss. Yeah. It's a victory. For now. Yeah. We get to drink tonight, my friend. <laughs> and we get to fight again. And we will. We'll keep fighting. Keep fighting until I'm one of those stacked up in there. And that's exactly the way I want to go. There is more to life than war, Warren, whether you believe that or not. And whilst your and whilst your sentiment is noble, I do not believe that you, that you have accepted the possibility that there, that there might be something more that you want. But for now, you're right. This is what I'm here for. <clears throat> Fight on. We're gonna keep fighting. Because that's and what it, we do. And to do so in the hope that it will change something. It will. It will. Blue sky, give me strength. You keep saying that. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> I can't even see the blue sky right now. It's dark. <laughs> it's foggy. It's misty. An eternal blue sky is not always literal, Thorin. The, the father of all things watches us at all times. So it's like once you're gone, once your body, once your soul leaves your body, you go to some blue sky place. Tangri watches it's over Mon me. I think it's called Montana. I heard that once. <laughs> <laughs> Tangri watches over me, Boren. I know that for, for at least. Who is this? Who watches over you? Tangri. Who is that? The eternal blue sky. <laughs> and Matias, <laughs> grinning slightly, <laughs> just walks off. I'm just looking up. I I still don't see a blue sky. <laughs> Strange metal man. <laughs> Strange metal man. You fought good, Matthias. As did you, Boren. Just Better than most men. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're gonna go pat some of the other guys holding the line on the head and be like, good job, <laughs> good job. 
Simon, what are you doing? I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to fall asleep. It's kind of, it's kind of late. I'm a little tired. All the other archers, the archers are just laying down. <coughs> just waiting, keeping an ear out, seeing if I hear the approach since yeah. I'm the closest to, to the road out of anybody. Yeah, I'll try to take a short rest if I can find a little place to sit down and rest. I mean, if, whether, <coughs> whether it happens or not, I might as well start the process of okay. trying to get a rest in. You lay Likewise. down in the road. Yep. There's well, some Matias, I'll go back into Matias, the little house is, over here if you want to. Yeah, yeah I can go lean up against the building for a little bit. Yeah, a chair bit. from Matias is, <laughs> is just behind the front lines, leaning against the, the cliff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be, I'll be right there with Matias. I'm just gonna okay. pop a squat, basically. So, you, you organize the, the archers and the mm -hmm. fighters to, to take as much of a rest to grab some squint eye if mm -hmm. you can for a yeah. little bit and here and whatever there. guys. There's a few took the awake, back. but. Whatever, whoever took the prisoner back, we're just going to tell them to pass on a message that they can send any more men to, hold, to help us hold the line. We could use anything that they have. Okay. And to give somewhat of a, of a damage report. We report back to the, to the, to Kyber. Um, and they say to you, um, is it going well? I think it went pretty well. I think our numbers are good compared to theirs. I don't know how we would fare against another attack unless we had some additional reinforcements. Um, yes, I will send the word back. Uh, we send. They disappear. Mm -hmm. Anything else you're doing, Alderic? No, I'm just listening to my music box. Cartra? <clears throat> um, I will be applying leeches to these guys to bring them back. Okay, did you find the yeah, I did. instructions? Are they clear enough? Yeah, pretty, pretty clear. So I'll put the. Uh, For some reason, it says there are two more men in arms here than there are figures on the. I guess I used the gi three giant leeches that there's I got. Three. There's two. There's. Are those guys three working dead over there? No, they're unconscious. I'm gonna try to bring them back. With oh, them. are they unconscious? Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. I'll lay on hands then. And bring I think them back that was just one. the, the chart but that I had. I can them. bring them back to one. Oh. Or you could use the leeches. I'm gonna use the leeches use to bring them back. Save your thing for an emergency. Okay. All right. So. But they're stable. They're not like. One D8. Well, don't go that far. Drop dead on. So, one goes up for 13 points. Next one for 14. And the last one, 13. Uh, big gold giant leeches on their back. <laughs> Damn, Car give me one of them, Carter. Give me one of them leeches. <laughs> All right, so uh, I don't know whether they got orange or what their hit points they are. They would be an orange. Welcome back, boys. Just let the little guys do their thing. Get back in that line. <laughs> oh, yeah, because they're, because they're in the best shape to do so. Yeah, that's my hit points. Actually, they could be rear guard right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No rest for the weary. No rest friends. for the weary. Oh, yeah. There ain't no rest for the wicked. I'm gonna slap a medium Take leech on you. Oh, nice. Don't grow on trees. I'll take medium uh, leech. So that's 13 points. Nice, I'll, I'll take it. Hey. And then I eat the leech after. <laughs> of course you do. Gross. <laughs> I was about to say. And I guess I will continue over here. Slap another leech on that guy. Yeah. He, he's points. a he's a twenty eight. Well, I'm just healing everybody. Okay, I got, I got, well, I got a bucket I'll of leeches, it. and everyone's getting a leech. I'll hand it to you one of the guys in the. Well, just because he's a drummer doesn't mean that you know yeah. you can't heal him. <laughs> no, his maximum is thirty. You have a problem with drummers? His maximum is thirty. His maximum is thirty. Well, he's a twenty eight. Oh well, he's healed. There you go. Just heal him up. Are we short leeches though? I don't know. So we'll give him a leech. Oh, we had a yellow on him. I thought that was pretty good. <clears throat> He's good. He was playing down tempo the entire time. Like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> kept playing harder. <laughs> uh, that's 14 for the priest, I guess? The preacher. Preacher? Does the preacher do anything? Can he heal? No, he just smacks he's people. The, oh, the it's, just, it's just the. He's the, he's the, he's the, he's the, the, um, the, the morale guy. for this guy oh, okay. here. And then I'll have to use a small leech. Ooh. 
13 for the front guy. So that's uh, all of them except the guys in the back are now fully healed. There you go. Mm. We didn't take any other prisoners, right? Just the. Uh, I'm just going to take my remaining three leeches, put them in a jar, and put them in the backpack. <laughs> Eat them. Eat them. A few Eat hours them. pass, unless you guys are doing something. If you are, just stop me. Uh, a few hours pass, and uh, they send out three more troops for uh, is what they have to spare at this point. Okay. That's good. Um, we'll take them. Put them right in the front line. Welcome to the fight, boys. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, we'll do the best we can. We know you will. Um, Prepare to be bloodied. Look at the look at what your your buddies before you did. Is that guy good? Sure, yeah. you can do the same. He just fell down. Yes. He's fine. Easy. He's, he's sleeping. Okay. And I'm maximizing the effect of my sound asleep fighting style. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, roll a DC ten con check. Right. Nice. And then a DC followed by check, a, D, so a DC deck. five con check, a DC ten, and then DC five con check. Twelve, yeah. DC five, nineteen. First 11. a DC ten, and let me know if you feel twenty one. Same uh-huh. five. Okay, it's the first one. After that, <laughs> <laughs> I made my save. So was the second one five? Five. Yeah, I passed. You passed both. Twenty one so, and a sixteen. So you guys, you're struggling to stay. Awake when you are on shift, and those of you who do, uh, anybody who failed would have accumulated some exhaustion from having stayed up so late. But you guys, you just kind of push through it, and you're hanging on at this point. How long is a short rest now? One day. One day. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the moon moves across the sky. It just intermittently drizzles. Your troops are taking some rests in place. They're kind of leaning up back against back, right back right against now, the walls, right. and just yeah, kind of right resting right in place. Um, who's on, let's give me, who's on duty up on top of the hill, so to speak? Uh, we'll say two of the archers are. Okay, two of the archers. Give me two um, perception checks with the, from the archers. Uh, 16 and 18. Unmodified. Um, and one of them comes over to you in the middle of the night. Sir. What, uh, what is it? I'm sorry to wake you. Um, I could be wrong. I just heard noises coming from toward the village and, and across the river. But it, it might be nothing. I might just be hearing things. Okay. Really exhaustion. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'll kind of head over and to this side and kind of like whistle down to try to get the attention of everybody else. <laughs> what is it? Maybe maybe movement coming from the, the town. Okay, get be ready, ready boys, be ready. Sorry, All right, startling yeah. everybody out. Be ready. <laughs> On your feet. You're alert now, and it, it's raining and it's dark up on the hill. A little bit of time goes by, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Roll a perception check. With advantage, because you're like keenly listening now. 19. 19. You definitely heard like clanking coming from across the river and movement from. So I hear stuff coming from the other side and also. Yeah. Head back over. Large contingent. Across the river as well. Maybe it's, well, just, maybe it's just Boulder. Can you shoot some uh, flaming arrows out across? It's raining. Oh, that's true. I forgot it's raining. Never mind. I will. Uh, it might give us a little bit of light. I will shoot a fire bolt across the river to land somewhere near where that. Defensive barricade. Barricade is. Can you throw a light thing over that way? Or no? You can't throw what? Light? Uh, no, I have to oh. touch something. Oh. I don't think I can throw that far. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> probably, I don't even know if I can make it to the river. 
Okay. To be honest with you. <laughs> you, you throw a, 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 an Eldritch Blast, what'd you say, an Eldritch Blast? A firebolt. A firebolt across the river. No. And you catch a, a brief glance, at least initially, it slams into some walls that you see beyond. Um, that's what you see at the moment, if you will. Oh boy, you've been working. Mm-hmm. It might have even started to touch one on fire. You hear some yelps and some people say, shh, 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 shh. I will launch one this way as well. What's my range on that? I think is 240 feet. It goes flying down. It eventually just strikes straight down through the, the remnants of the town. This building, by the way, over here, was just eventually yeah. caught on fire and it it, it just kind of like smoldered. It might have caught this building on fire as well. And it just, at this point, it would be out. You look down there, it just, it's very, very quick. Uh -huh. I mean, it's like, whoosh, yeah. and you're concentrating as you look down and you can see it, but you don't see any figures over, any movement over okay. in that direction. But you can hear it before you see it, if that makes sense. Okay. Although light is faster than sound, but there's nothing to mm -hmm. see. It's a waiting game now. Get ready. Hold your positions up there. Make them come to us. Mm -hmm. Take some cover up there. Try to hide your positions the best you can. Once more, the fray comes unto us. Stand fast, men. This isn't over yet. Do you try to rest anymore, or are you, everybody staying up at this point? I'm gonna still try to rest. I mean, we're not, not gonna nice. get 24 hours. It doesn't really matter. I, I will stay alert at the top. Might as well. Yeah, okay. we'll stay alert. We, uh, down here, um, while the uh, while oh, while I'm, I'm having our men be vigilant, I'll tell them to get some rest as well, as much as they can. Okay. I, you guys are, are are resting. Everybody's leaning up, back up against each other. They're a little bit trepidatious, but then after a while, they realize they're so. Except for those first three who just huh. arrived, everybody else is just so darn exhausted from having been up so long. The first three are like, uh, one of them comes up, so we can take watch if you want. Uh, and do so, please. Uh, the, the three in the front <clears throat> stay alert, as, as as alert as they can from that position. And the rest are, uh, they're not, they're ready to get back up again, but they're doing their best to get some shut eye. You hear some snoring, light snoring among them. Some others like nudge him to like, stop that. And, uh, and then the rest of them, and up on the hill as well. You are watching the Carpathian Adventure on Seven Sided Die, and we will be right back.
You are watching the Carpathian Adventure on Seven Sided Die, and welcome back. The party is in a defile. It is raining. It is dark. There's a fog in the valley. Sirenscape has failed. <laughs> and we rejoin them in progress. While well, I restart that, uh, Zyman, roll a perception check, please. Straight up. A four. A four. <clears throat> You're groggily sitting there, <clears throat> drifting in and out of sleep. <sighs> a little while goes by. 15 minutes, 30 minutes, all of a sudden an hour, and you're just struggling to stay awake. And you hear, suddenly hear a sound that sounds like rope being stretched. Oh, no. Just stretched. Oh, you, no. you just you can't mistake that indistinguishable sound of just something being pulled. And then all of a sudden you, you glance across the river and you see this bright light from a, uh, from illuminating above, Fabulous. above the barriers. You don't see what's beyond mm -hmm. it, but you see the bright light. And all of a sudden something comes oh, hurtling up through and arcing up in through the sky. And it's race! <laughs> <laughs> and just slams down on top of the uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we'll just roll it. The eight. This this massive thing comes flying down. Wow, hit! I'm yeah, surprised. It's one. one. It's just and so uh, this guy roll. He sees this. He glances up when you yell brace. And he sees this massive ball of something <laughs> flaming come falling down on top of him. Roll a deck save for him and the guy next There's to him. The guy, too, him right? with disadvantage, him straight up. Do the trees do anything? Uh, sure. Um, it, it looks like a catapult ball of They're some sort that's on flaming fire. Huh? Flaming pitch. Like? Yeah. Wicker. Oh, wicker. Wicker covered in pitch, maybe. <laughs> Mm hmm. They both failed. Uh, they both failed. Uh, where is it, Tom? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, not good. Um, they both failed miserably. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, uh, not, not good. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. They both rolled. Uh, one rolled a four. One rolled a three. Oh, Jay and Silent Bob didn't make it. No. Nope. <laughs> uh, I don't you... think I have eyebrows left either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like right there. <laughs> Okay, I don't think they're standing anymore. Okay, well, the one guy takes... Oh, actually, no. He take, uh, takes 41 points of damage, and the other guy takes uh, 20 points of damage. He's he is um, standing. The second guy is standing. The first guy is <laughs> emoliated. <laughs> yeah, he's immolated. He is not going to rock up. No. And you hear a scream from down the road, and there are troops come charging down the road. We don't have one of them. You see, you got about, uh, we'll call it just about here. We kind of first yeah. see them. And they start come charging down. Oh! And th some of them have tor Actually, you would see them back here. They have, some of them have torches. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Oh, and They're about here right now. I assume the horses are going to cause them a slight. Uh, it might give them a slight delay. Yep. And the sheer number of bodies. Hmm? And the sheer number of bodies. Yeah, there's, did you guys, I assume you left all the bodies oh, there? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. The bodies are just piled in the roadway. Slick with blood. What's the range on this, the ballista? Uh, 120, 480. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, we shot with disadvantage, like, into the village. Okay, well, so we can there. take a shot right down the middle. Yeah, and we're loaded, ready to go. Mm -hmm. yeah. the first loaded for bear. Okay, let's roll a new initiative. Why don't we do that? The bad guys have an 18. If somebody could 
Let's write the numbers next to them yeah. if you could, just because when Balder shows up next week, we won't remember what the hell's going on. Op opponents have an 18, you said? Yes, I did. I got an 18. <laughs> 27. So Reiner will go before them. I'm sure his dex is higher. What did you get, Aldrich? 27. 11. I got 11. He's got two. Which one of you has better dex? Dex 10. <laughs> I got a 7, so. <laughs> 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 you got it. It's my 10 dex. <laughs> Average. Helping my armor class so much, and. Yes. <laughs> 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 Major armor or something you throw on yourself? Uh, I don't memorize it. And how do we That's determine um, <laughs> how do we determine these guys and stuff? Like, we we usually go with them. They're all. The I, all I have all the archers. He has all the men of arms. And okay. um, I think that and the um, ballista is controlling the ballista. We do. Yeah. So, okay. We take turns. Yeah. Okay. Look at that, Alder. See that, Tom. Yes, I can. Thank you very much for asking, because I am getting old. Reiner asked me the other night if I could see his TV from in his room, and I I can't read it anymore. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, he's like, can you read what it says on, what was it, you were playing CK? CK, CK, CK and this is this small print on this <laughs> screen that's 10 feet away, and I'm like, no, dude, there's no way. <laughs> <Game over. laughs> I can't read that. But I can read that. Alderic, with a 27, you are up, sir. What can we do the ballista first? Uh, absolutely, it was 100% loaded. Yes. Some of them are carrying torches because they don't want to fall into the water, so yeah. you have enough light to be able to see them. What do you think, straight down the middle? Yeah, yeah. fire it. Straight yeah. down in there. Uh, get that turn start, get that three round reload plus, started. Plus, plus six, six, that's all it is. Okay, 24. 24, one of the, I assume one of the front guys. Mm -hmm. This huge, massive bolt slams into him. What does he have to roll to save or something uh, like that? DC 20 decks. Yeah. DC 20 decks. Jeez. No way! <laughs> he fails miserably! 12 to 6. I think that if, if one of them is, hit, is a 6, it, it, it penetrates, right? 4, I forget 9, one. 12. 13, I forget, what does it say? 15, 16, 20, 26, 28. Uh, just the knocked prone and pin to the ground if you fail. Okay, so uh, which one? Uh, what was the mechanic down. Which for, one? For, for dead center guy. Yeah, I'll do the... This guy right here? Yep. yep. We'll just put that on. He's dead? He's not dead. Oh, um, right. oh here, do you want a red ring? Yeah, but I was trying to remember that he's pinned as well. You know, okay. So, we'll um, huh? Was he pinned to the ground? Pinned, yeah. and how many points damage to him? 28. 28 points of damage. He is just, suddenly this bolt slams into him and he's pinned against the ground there. Um, any, what's next, Alderic? Do you um, control these archers or you control no, all yeah. the archers? Okay, that sucks. Um, I will let the horse take me. I'm assuming the horse can make it to around the bend here. He can. Roll an animal handling check with disadvantage, though. You just this horse is massive. It's a war horse. And you feel like you're just not educated in how to operate. Ten. A ten. Yeah, I'd imagine you it's got. A, you were able to walk him forward. I imagine it's a thoroughbred destrier, most likely. You walk him forward. You've got him up there, but yeah, you're struggling with him. Where are you? Get that animal out of here. <laughs> I'm commanding. I'm commanding. General Aldrich. Um, General. <laughs> crossbow shot at the red dude. Okay. He's going to have to come just a smidge more forward. Yeah, we'll do it. Are you trying to show go. off to the uh, traitor guy? Mm. <laughs> well, he was already taken back to the castle, I think, right? The other guy? Or, or no, Klaus. 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 Oh, to Klaus. The Klaus the traitor. <laughs> I thought you said something else. 27. A 27. He's pinned against the ground, and all of a sudden, this bolt slams and manages to go right in between the slits. Roll damage, sir. Nice. Uh, six, eight, 12, and 22. 22 more points of damage. He's... Well, up is a relative term. I think he's permanently <laughs> up. Jeez. But he's still alive and cooking. You see him struggling to like pull himself off of this 
He's like pushing it through his body, just trying to pull himself off of this massive bolt. And I look back at the remainder and go, onward! <laughs> okay, and that's it. Um, Borant, you are up, followed by Mattias, the opponent, Simon Kartra. Uh, I'll just move up. I'll just move up into this line with, with these guys. As best I you can. can move through friendly troops to where yeah, we want. I'll just come right up in here. Okay, understood. Okay, within Mattias' little... And then I'll take the dodge action. Understood, the dodge action. Mattias, you are up. Uh, brace yourselves, men. They're coming again. Let us bloody them well so that they remember not to try this in the future. Everyone is thoroughly awake at this point. They're just, like, pinging with a shot of caffeine or something <laughs> or other. Let these, uh, let these outsiders know that the men of Kyborg will not surrender lightly. Yeah! <laughs> uh, anything else? No. You hold your... <laughs> I hope. Well, I don't want you to deny him his turn. <laughs> okay, no, I so hope I lo- I you hope take I... a ready action yes. or a dodge action? Have them, okay. I'm gonna have them phalanx up or whatever you... Whatever you shield wall. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, shield wall, they form a shield wall and they have uh, advantage or dis- disadvantage to the enemy's attacks. Their well, no. Are... Um, um, if, that, that was already applied by my um, by my defense. Oh, okay, okay. So uh, then they... So if they... When they charge into us, we get first attack, or they get damage. Is that what it was? I thought that's was. You know what? I will. Uh, well, you're both pole arm to pole arm, so it's going to kind of be a mock snicks. Oh, okay. So, um, so okay, yeah. Then in that case, um, in this in this wall, case, the yeah. shield wall would then uh, what, um, then doubles up doubles it up so that the uh, so that the disadvantage still applies. I think. You know what? I'll give you. I'll give you a plus two on your AC for those frontline troops. How's that sound? Sounds good. Since it's kind of, mm-hmm. it's going to be a wash on advantage versus disadvantage. I think. Yeah. Okay. Right. Good. This is. I'll call this difficult terrain. So, so each one is two, two, four, uh, uh, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. He's going to get up there. This guy's stuck. Uh, one, two. Three, four, five, six, we we'll call it seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then we'll just push everybody else out, kind of like matching. Okay, um, this guy will pause to try and pull his brethren off. Uh, he's gonna try and help him get it off. And uh, this is these guys. Okay, uh, on Alderic, this guy reaches up and swings away with this massive pole he had arm. Did movement? I'm sorry? Or did he dash? Uh, he, he did dash, good point. Um, mm-hmm. Let me check, he, but he is a charger. So he can make a one attack versus his normal attack. He can take his bonus action attack after dashing. So he will just, he does not get his normal attack, he just gets his dash, his dash attack, and he rolls a natural 19 plus, Plus twelve with his uh, with his charge, so he's. I'm sure that's a hit. Okay, Either well. way, huh? <laughs> I'm, uh, I got it. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. So he does uh, fourteen points of slashing damage to you. Uh, Do you have uncanny dodge? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Fourteen points. Okay. Do you, do you have any, something that prevents it? Uh, it ha- how can he have it? Have it. Okay, cool. So seven points of damage. Understood. Uh, Just making sure you don't say it. Say it. Otherwise, oh, do I? He, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It should never be implied because that's your reaction. You choose to use your reaction so, how you choose. No chance. Round one over here. Okay. And that is the okay. opponents. Zyman, you are up. Do you have any more of those fire Let's see arrows? I will cast wall Tough of, choices. Wall of, wall of Fire. Tough Choices, Wall of Fire! As a 20 foot radius uh-huh. ring. <laughs> Instead of a wall. You can incinerate our force barricade. Uh, I don't know how many of these you need. <laughs> what are you doing? You're creating a wall or you're creating a. You know if you need more or less. Basically, I think I can basically encircle these guys. Oh, 
foot by a wrench. It's ah. a 20 foot radius. 20 foot radius. Okay. Sure. Sounds good. So does that mean they get double damage on both sides of the wall? Uh, they get it on this side. No heat on that side. To cross through it, they get damage. Uh, now it's brightly illuminated down there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, within the area, make a dexterity saving throw. Yeah. Awesome! Okay, this is not going to be good for them. I'm going to give that guy who's pinned, I'm going to say he fails. He doesn't even have a deck. He can't move. So he can't. He can't. He's not going to get a deck. Burn is alive. Stuck on a skewer, uh, like a shish kebab. Like, ah, yeah, these guys are in metal armor and they're in you're fire. You're screaming. Okay, Dex, and you said what? What's uh, uh, DC 17? DC Dex. 17. Okay, first one. No way. That's that guy over there. That one. A 19. That one. Uh, 15 plus two. 17. So save, save. Wow. Um, no way. Fail. And miserable fail. So only two saves. So definitely no, 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 no. Yes, yes. Anybody is half. Anybody, yeah. Anybody that uh, failed, twenty-four. Anybody that saved, twelve. Uh, okay. Uh, wow. Um, twenty-four. You said for the fails. Yep. Four. Well, well, uh, okay. You, can you just, uh, Reiner, just put r yellows on all of them, please? Okay. Anything else, Zyman? Uh, the the archers will go. Um, you said they're the equivalent of Battlemasters? Do they get superiority dice? Or yes, absolutely. Okay. Um, so all yeah. the guys on the ridge will use a superiority dice and do a distracting strike. Which guys you shoot at? The right. Those guys? Okay. Shoot. Yeah, we shoot the good. front. Uh, there's one all the way up and all the way up. and a 20, do either of those hit? Uh, both hit. Uh, they don't have shields. Uh, uh, 19, Does an 18 hit. hit? No, an 18 does okay. not okay. hit. So two. Okay, so the first one, um, the guy next to Aldrich. Eight points of damage, and whoever attacks him next gets advantage on the first attack. And the next guy in line takes nine points of damage and advantage for whoever attacks him. Awesome. First. Uh, the guys the first guy got hit in the chest, the second guy got hit in the, somehow in the right leg. The guys across the Thank river you, will, I guess I'll just aim at that one guy right next to Alder. Okay. <laughs> oh, two natural 20s. Wow. There's <laughs> one. There's one. Triple damage to the body. Ow! Double damage Ow! to the arm. Nice. Ow! Okay, so. Ooh, eight, uh, 24 plus one. Uh, 25 damage. Well, and each, D each one is plus one. So it would be nine. No, you triple. had the modifier, I think. Right? No, you don't. Not for criticals. We always okay. just add everything. Okay, 27. Oh, yeah, we just add All right, 27. Yeah. And a DC 18. Or he takes extra damage first on his DC turns. 18, and he, ah, he rolls a what? What type of? Uh, DC 18 con. Con. Yeah. So yeah, he's got a 15 plus four. He's 19. Okay, he's so good. I'm gonna go to that and the double damage for the arm. Five, another 10 points of damage. Same guy. Same guy, and a <laughs> DC 15 strength check, or DC he drops. DC 15 strength, he's got a drops plus down. five, he rolls a five, he's got a 10, he does he, not. He drops his weapon. Whoosh, he drops his weapon, just, uh, the, is he... okay, the guy in the front, okay, yep. got it. This mm -hmm. guy. This yep. guy, he dropped his halberd, Would understood. Would he be orange, or eh, uh, still yellow? Uh, 
Yeah, 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 he could be orange. Yep. That's everybody. Okay, Carter. that is everybody. That is uh, Zyman. Karcher, you are up. Oh, uh, well, I'm all the way back here anyway, so I'm just gonna get, your, uh, get up over here. I don't want to waste a turn sending anything out yet, so I'm just gonna take the dodge action. You can get your spiritual weapon out, no? Yeah, but it wastes a turn, so I'll wait until uh, they come actually a little bit closer before I start. Understood, <laughs> understood. <clears throat> understood. That Kartra, you're. You're taking the dodge action. Yeah. We're back up to the top of round two. Aldrich, you are up. Okay. So then this the goes to two, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> swinging down with the rapier on the dude with advantage. And that is going to be a 14. A 14. It connects. You feel it shing against his armor. Um, Second, you got an off. You got your other offhand too, right? I have an offhand, yeah. Um, so would he still get his sneak attack? I, I wouldn't get oh, a sneak no. attack because he's no, acted no. already and there's no oh, ally okay. next to him, so I would get a sneak attack. Right. But with the dagger, it is a twenty-three. A twenty-three. The dagger just. Jabs in between the chainmail and his armor, be a and big one point of damage. <laughs> <laughs> Every bit counts. Just to let him know. Ah! <laughs> um, dismounting the horse and 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 disengaging is that a possible action with me? Or? Dismounting just takes movement, so okay. you can dismount, no problem. And what was the other part? Disengage back. Disengage. To me, yeah. as a um, action. Yeah, yeah. Bonus Do you have a bonus action to disengage? Yes. Sure, absolutely. So it just, I think it takes half your movement to dismount, and then... 20, 30, 25, 30, 30, 30. Oh, so we'll just Okay, good enough. And he can't yeah. take an opportunity scrum. attack on you because of your mobile feet. Understood. Smack Anything else? Smack on the backside on the way there. Let me... Okay. <laughs> Anything else, Aldrich? Aldrich is done. Vorinth, you are up. Um... I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna just hold where I'm at. Um, let me think. Yeah, no. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hold where I'm at. But I'm gonna make sure I'm within Mattias's. Well, you're not because you can't be because these guys are all here. Unless okay. you move, unless you move like the. It's okay. All you do is give them disadvantage. You give disadvantage. You give them. Uh, everyone within five feet of me, any attack made against them okay, is fine. a disadvantage. That's fine. I'll um, I'll make sure I'm right up in here, and I'll just take the dodge action again. Understood. That's yeah, boring. Maddie, you patient. are up. Uh, I will patient. continue to hold be. and take the uh, mm -hmm. the dodge. The I was dodge tempted action. to go out and try to. Understood. Engage the the opponents. This guy, just push him forward into the line. This guy, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, just push him forward into the line. Yeah, that's even with the, uh, the, the, the terrain caused by the bodies? The, I think the horses uh, are the only thing. I think this is the only thing. I, they're just trunging over yeah. there at this point. Okay, this guy, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. He's only gonna get his bonus action in. This guy just pushes up here. These guys, just put them back here, just for the, sake, for the sake of argument. There we go. These guys, do they take damage at the start of their turn? Uh, yeah, at the start of their at turn. Their or if they decide to try to go through, they also... Well, they're gonna run. So what do they do? Then it would just be when they pass oh, through. Okay, so they pass through. Yeah, I mean, they're not gonna stay. Well, yeah. he's, he's dead. So this guy's gonna pass through. Does he need to make a save or just take damage? They, they just take the damage. Okay, oh, don't through. let me know what they take. Just push it forward. That's probably good. I'm just gonna sit close enough. Move that ballista to round two. Yeah, no, it's all it's gets yeah. to two next round. It's just turn to one. Yeah. Uh, okay. Use the last round. Uh, 20, 24. 24 to each ten, of them. Ten, 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 if I went through the fire. One, two, oh, just all of them. We're okay, 24. On the yeah. yeah. Okay. That's so easy, easy numbers oh, to I add. 48 <laughs> for some of them. If it fires again on four. Okay. Holy crumb. Okay. okay. Those two guys in the back are, are so burnt up, they're 
Toast. Their rings fell down. So, uh, <laughs> four of those yellows, you, um, uh, wait a minute. There should be one, two, th okay, no, I'm sorry. Um, that guy's, uh, three of those yellows you can turn orange, if that makes sense. Okay, on that front line, these halberders, they slam into there. The one guy just gets his one bonus attack. He jabs forward, and what do we say? Disadvantage? He, um, uh, well, uh, straight up. Disadvantage but and plus two, two. To, to my unit's AC. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think the the wash, I thought it was a wash There's on two the separate things. There's their shield wall, is yeah. giving them the plus two, and then his ability is giving them... Ah, uh, got it. Okay, fair enough. Yep, I forgot about your ability. Understood. And so the first one, he jabs forward with his halberd, slamming, and it would have been a... So he's got a 17. Is that with the disadvantage? That's with disadvantage. Otherwise, it would have been a 25. Good. Okay, and uh, so the, the, and they've got the, plus two to their armor class. Yep, that's uh, ties. Ties would go in the defender's favor, right? No, <laughs> no. He, he strikes. What? He does a whopping. Your AC is a hit. If somebody hits yeah. your AC, it's a hit. Yes. They <laughs> so he takes a whopping um, uh, eight points of damage. The the next one over, he swings away, trying to cut through. Natural twenty, critical card, please, mm -hmm. and a and a hit. Um, and then his bonus action. This one's not going to be pretty. Two hits. Uh, just oh, okay. This guy's probably not going to fare well. Um, so uh, well, uh, uh, eight triple twenty four twenty four and uh, twenty seven twenty seven thirty seven thirty seven and um, and. Uh, 10 is 47. 47 points of damage. The middle guy. Uh, That's the middle end guy, guy right here. Or whichever one you want. And right then here. the next dead? one. Uh, miss! Miss! No, that's. That's. Um, that's. Uh, There's that's, a fresh truth. That's Klaus. Oh, Klaus took 47 points. Oh, Klaus is in the front line? Yeah. Okay. He has the sword. Oh, the, okay. The third one. There's three there, right? Yeah, this guy is unconscious. Okay, the third one. Miss, miss. And a, um, I'm sorry, that was my bad. Uh, and a, his bonus action um, is a, 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 a dirty 20. I, I suspect that so hits, correct? Right? That, that hits. Okay, well, he, he takes. Plus two AC there, those guys. Oh, oh that's no, what I'm asking. Right. Yeah, yeah, never mind. I'm dirty sorry. 20, it's a dirty 20 hit? Dirty 20 hits. Okay, dirty 20, he takes 8 and 15. 5, oh. he and takes has, um, a 17. Okay. He takes eight, uh, 13 points of damage. And I believe that is all they can do. That's reloading. Okie doke! That is it for the bad guys. Simon, you are up. Okay, I will uh, maintain my concentration on that fire to keep it as a, a wall. And I will cast Scorching Ray at the Catapult. Uh, I have Spell Sniper, so that's 240 feet. And Is that a roll to hit? Uh, yeah, I have to roll to hit it. Okay, I'm going to um, say because of the barriers you're going to have disadvantage, because it's not like clearly visible. Spe spell Sniper uh, ignores, ignores cover. Ignores cover. cover. Uh, okay, go for it. Don't need to look it up. Just go for it. Half and three quarters it ignores. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay. Through a lot of inspiration, but good. Okay, so uh, <coughs> you're striking the catapult itself. The catapult itself. Okay, understood. Uh, let's see. I got 26, 24, and 23. Uh, they all Take hit. <laughs> Dice tray, bro. He's working on one. I thought he was going to bring it tonight, but he's not here. All right. I'll, I'll bring one for you next week. <laughs> I, he's, he's got it. I gave him one for everything. Oh, right. That was a poor list. Uh, 9, 11, 12, uh, 16, 17 points of fire damage to the catapult. Understood. 17 points of fire damage. Thank, I, good thing I wrote down how many. And I guess happens. you can decide whether or not it's on fire or it's up to you. <laughs> you see it catching? Uh, 
Okay. I mean, it's got a lot of hit points. I see. But um, okay. it is catching on fire because it does light stuff on fire. Mm-hmm. Anything else, Simon? Uh, I guess the archers will take their turn. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I only got five up top now. A natural one and a natural 20. Give me a critical of each. I'll uh, negate that natural one. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, 14. Yeah. Hit. A uh, four. No. Yeah. Ching. I mean, it chings yeah. against their armor. It might have hit, but it didn't. Yeah, well, at least he didn't shoot himself. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Double damage body. Uh, six points of damage. To which one? Let's say that guy. You're gonna make and... it hard for me. <laughs> I'm like, which one's hard? Okay, and, uh, that D- one's DC okay, 15. Six points. In the swirling melee. Got it. And a DC 15 con, or he takes extra DC damage. DC 15. He rolls a five plus four. He rolls got a nine. He does. Okay. He does not save. You're gonna have to remind him about. So the... he'll take extra damage on his turn. How, how much on uh, next turn? Uh, yeah, when he starts his turn. He okay, just damage. remind him. Yep. Okay, because I will forget. Let's see. And two more points of damage on him, let's say. Okay, he um, is still going. The four archers across the river will shoot at whoever is closest on that bench. <laughs> These guys. Uh, natural 20. Natural 20, awesome. Natural 1. And awesome. The I will, will uh, probably negate hit. that natural <laughs> one. Okay. All right. Uh, that would be a 16 to hit. Probably not. 16 right? chings against the army. You can see it slam Maximum against his arm. his head, and it kind of bounces off his helmet. Okay, so the, the first guy, maximum damage arm, so that's nine points of damage and a DC 10 strength. Which guy are we looking at there, please? I guess. Okay, that guy, orange guy over there. Uh, okay, uh, nine points and what? A DC 10 strength or he drops D10, it. DC 10 strength, that easily makes it. And uh, another eight points of damage. To the same guy? Yeah. Uh, uh, that's it for all the archers. Okay. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Anything else, Simon? No, that is. That is Carter, it. you are up. That's all right. I will. Call down for Thor's aid and form a spiritual hammer and send it flying into the back lines and have it slam into the orange guy there. At least try. 25. Wow! It's, it catches him at the back of the head. It catches him at the back of the stomach somehow. Nine points of damage. Nine points. That's the orange guy there. Okay. Uh, he's still up. Anything else? Uh, I'm gonna try to kind of sneak around and get a little bit closer into these people here. You can move through friendlies. It's right. up to you. Yeah, I'm trying to get. Yeah, this is good. Right? If you want to push them out of the way, you can. They probably want to put. They want to jam. probably going to the lakes. Just go into the room. Okay, the that's Karcher. Right. Well, we're back up at the top of the next round. <clears throat> Karcher, well, I guess I have you within my Karcher, radius as I'm well. I'm sorry, Aldrich, yeah. you are up. Along there with the is six. a soldier down in the front. Is he? Did he just fall by mistake? I don't down? know the no, answer. He's he's is, he is down. He's down. He's, he's down. He's unconscious. Uh, so five, ten. Is the orange our guy? Yes. So the yellow is their guy. Yeah. Okay, so with 15 feet of movement, I'm going to creep up to the yellow guy. Okay. And I will pull out the rapier and attack. And that is going to be. But a, you're not going to be behind him, but yeah, yeah I understood. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 21. 21, you rapier and you jam it forward and you find a sweet spot in it and pierces in between two pieces of plate Ten. and jabbing him in the right arm. And. The 12 yellow, and 9. The yellow one there? 21 yes. points of damage. 21 more points of damage. Ah, oh, he screams in pain. With the offhand dagger. Nice. 16 plus 8 is 24. 24. It, you j- no, jammed that, in and you kind of like came around behind and jabbed him with the two more dagger points. at the same time and for two more points. And then the rest of the movement, I will retreat back. Nice. Okay, understood. Without provoking. Devastating, devastating. Anything else, I'll direct. That's it. Borinth, you are up. 
Uh, okay, I'm not gonna move my guy just because it's madness out there right now. But I'm gonna move up right. It's awesome. Up, right up into that front line, um, and I'll take a. I'm gonna rage. So rage. as I'm passing by my, the, my our troops, I'm just gonna <clears throat> let out a big old battle cry. Rage. Did that yellow guy go to like <clears throat> orange or red ring? They're gonna blow the horn. No, no. not yet, sir. No, this is a horn. There's worthy. a lot, but it wasn't that. There was the, there was the first that orange guy. I'm gonna hit that orange guy and swing. I guess. Hit as many of those guys as I can. So I think there's three of them. Yeah, yeah I would say definitely. Right. And now you have my, the uh, the be, the be, the benefit of my um, defense. Okay. <laughs> twenty-eight to hit. Oh, twenty-eight. So it's a twenty-eight, a twenty-four, and a twenty. Uh, all three. Okay. So that's that's the first hit. I'm gonna do the second one. There's still just the one. That's it. <laughs> 28, 29 to hit. So I'm going to assume that hits all three. 29, 25, 21, yes. Third hit, natural 20. Natural, oh my nice. god. All right, I'll do damage on the first. The first. Attack. Just tell me the total damage and whatever the critical okay. is, please. Um, 372. <laughs> oh my god. 20. Oh my the first god. attack was a 22 <laughs> points of damage. Oh my god. I'm going to have to add this up. I'm, I'm not going to be able to do this in my head. Sorry. Oh my god. Can I, uh, can I <laughs> just say, can I just say that, um, that the guy who fell was pulled back and given first aid while so. <laughs> while Borinth is doing this? Sure. Absolutely. He's behind the friendly lines, All right. right? So for the next I, 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 We pulled him back. He wasn't. Sure. He Absolutely. Was, he was the first guy who yeah, was Yeah, somebody, uh, either you Double or somebody. Damage. Probably me. And then I put, and I put, and sent him to somebody else who pulled him back. Sounds probably. good. Nice. And he mm-hmm. saves, so he's at zero. Okay. Under 20. Plus the brutal critical. Brutal critical. Mm-hmm. Thinking of your man, good job. 65. Oh. 41 plus 65. It's 106 <laughs> points of damage. There Total. are still up. No way. <laughs> oh my god. All three. All three. All right. Collapse <laughs> in a pool of blood. After I saw him up for you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, oh thank you. Thanks, um, uh, oh, that one guy you didn't soften up, and I stuck y'all in the in the back. Uh, All right, and now there's nobody. Somebody in the rear is rethinking their attack. <laughs> well, <laughs> listen. Uh, it's awesome. You've gotten me down to one hip point. I'm, I'm know? just joking, bud. Come on. Now. Um, <laughs> they're thinking about running back through yeah. the fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, hey, so, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna step minute. back behind the line. <laughs> so I'll okay. use the rest of my movement to step back behind the line. Awesome, and awesome. No there Anything else, me. sir? No, uh, like, that no that's enough. It. Okay, Mattias, yeah, that, you are up. The, this guy will come forward. That's class, and right? By the way, those will guys lost twenty feet off their movement. <laughs> Understood. Re- shield wall reform. Slowly. slowly. These, this guy just sizzles. You hear screams from in there, and then they suddenly <laughs> stop. Okay, so, Kartra, like, um, you on. are under the effects of my um, <laughs> defensive fighting style, so any attack against you right now is at a disadvantage. All right, sounds good to me. Awesome. And any attacks against any of the, uh, the five footmen um, around here are... Same way we did it before. Understood. <laughs> Understood. That's working out awesome. Anything else, Matthias? Um, oh, and the and the and the and the front guys have the plus two AC, but I'm keeping track of that. Yeah, you keep. Please do. I can't. Okay. okay. <laughs> At that point, well, obviously he's gonna move forward. He's gonna move forward. Throw that guy up in that front line there, and then these guys kind of. Let me see. What one, two, three. Four, eh, they're not gonna. They just push forward. Okay. Does he? Weapons, does he need to do anything? To push forward? Uh, I, think so. I don't think they do. No, he can. He, just on his turn, he takes. Uh, 1d8 damage. Okay, so this is his turn. Uh, does he need to make a save or Yeah, anything? he can make that DC 10 con save again to see if he breaks out of it. But he takes uh, six points of damage for this turn. Okay, he takes six <laughs> more points. Continue to remind me, he's still up, but he's make, not he's looking happy. Make a DC 10 oh, okay. con to try DC to break 10 out. con, Did he's got yeah, plus four. I, I went, but, and oh, no, he so was at 10, 14? I wasn't within attacking range of anyone. Oh, yeah, it was a DC 10. But what about 10? all our guys? Oh, okay. They so, weren't within attacking straight. range of anyone either. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's fine. That's good. Okay, on the front line, okay. I've got three guys. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yes. Okay, three guys against three guys, correct? Yes. Okay, they're wading into battle. They've got disadvantage on their attacks, and you've got a better AC than you had before. The first attack, eh, pff, miserable with disadvantage. Second one, miserable, and his bonus attack, he rolled with this. I'm sorry, my bad with disadvantage. He rolls a 
23. I'm sure that's that a hits. hit. And he does a whopping uh, 14 points of damage. The second guy with disadvantage. Uh, uh, it might still hit. Uh, uh, tw yeah, well, it's a dirty 20. Dirty 20 with disadvantage. Uh, I'm assuming that's a hit. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, it's for uh, 15. Um, uh, lucky you. Otherwise, it would have a, a miss. And his bonus. <sighs> Lousy rolls. Um, you're keeping track of what, of what the, the AC is? Well, I, I just know if I roll a two or a three, it's not going. It's, it's not going to work. It's not going to hit. So I'm okay. not going to. I'm not going to do the math in right. my head. Okay. Because I get too much other crap. <laughs> I, I wasn't sure. I, if the number looks on the edge, I add in the bonus. If the number is obvious, I don't add in the bonus. Does that make sense? Yeah. I mean, if I roll like a, a 16, 17, 18, I, I know it's going to hit, so I don't bother to add in the bonus. But if it's so like six, 16s as well. No, I said if I roll and if I roll, let's say I roll two dice. Okay. So representing disadvantage, and one comes up an 18, and one comes up a natural 20. Yeah. I don't do the math. Yeah. Because that's what I just roll. I don't do the math. I just I know that an 18 is going to yeah. hit, so I just yeah do the damage. Does yes. that make sense? I'm not yeah, going to. Yeah. Their sit AC there and, right now is 17. Well, that's good, but but I. That's okay. why if it's on the edge, I, I'll I'll, sh I'll tell you what the roll is. Okay. If it's obvious to me that there's no chance of them hitting, okay. I'm not gonna waste your time or my time or anybody else's time at the table. Okay. I, I want to keep it moving. Okay. I don't even know what the hell's going on. No. <laughs> uh, I, I think there's a bone. I think is that second guy done? Yeah, you're. He's yeah, done. Okay. Done. Last guy. Uh, see, I roll a four and a two. I'm not even gonna add it. It's not worth it. Uh, I'm not trying to give you a hard time. I'm just trying to make no, sure. No, I know. I okay, I got a four. I got a two and a nine, and his attack is because he charged. This first attack is plus thirteen, so the nine is becomes a a twenty two. That's a hit. So uh, that's a 10, 15 points of damage, and then his bonus action attack. He rolls a thirteen and a two. The two plus. The seven is a nine. It's not even worth adding it in my head. So uh, that's a miss. Um, that becomes a three. This fires away. This ball comes hurtling over the wall. <laughs> They're still firing up toward the hill for right now. See, that's this third round. Uh -huh. This takes two rounds, though. I think that went before. And Did I miss something? No, I miss something? No, 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 no. I'm trying to figure out our <laughs> timing. So uh, he was going for one, two, three, four, five. He's going for that guy. It went that direction. Uh, two boxes. So help me out here. So from that guy, one, two. Alderic, make a save, Ooh. sir. <laughs> this ball comes straight tumbling down the hill. Text. A deck save. Oh, well, advantage, text. disadvantage, or just uh, regular? Just straight up as this ball comes hurtling over the cliff. Unnatural 20. Unnatural 20, you save, so you take only half damage, which I'll is still devity. Oh, no, oh, no, I'm sorry? No, no, you're good. Uh, I'm sorry? Half damage, go ahead. Where's my D10s, Tom? There yeah, they You are. can decide if you want to uncanny dodge it after he announces the damage. I don't think yeah. uncanny dodge is, a, is it's only against someone I can see. It's only against me. So it wouldn't be against there. the catapult. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it's the only picture you can see. I can check it. I mean, you can see it coming. It's not like you can't see it I don't know if I can see it coming. coming. I'm on the other side of the ridge. Are you down on the other side of the ridge, or are you on top of the no, ridge? I'm on, no, I'm, everybody's I'm, on the ridge. Below. Oh, I'm below. Kind of like okay. Below. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. That changes. And I'm sorry. And this guy, this guy, and this guy uh, make a save with advantage, please. Um, At you, born. How did it get? Dex, how did it get it went around? Because it, it, it went too far. It's an arcing catapult. Yeah. There's trees there. Oh. You saved. I saved. I you take down. 63 halved. You take 21 points of damage. Uh, 19 and a 17. 19 and a oh, 17. No. You saved. You take 21 points of damage. And that guy to the oh. center in Borinth. Oh, I'm getting hit too? Yes. Well, you're right next to him. Don't you get advantage it's on that? You get advantage on oh. that. Yeah, I you get advantage. Where, you get advantage on your next saving throw. Minus 23. 
catapult. 21. I'm trying to take and I'm guessing, saving. Do you have any wisdom scorching rays? Uh, no. Just, just fire, just fire bolts and archers. Oh boy. <laughs> well. Saving to These guys are both down. I got an 18. You just have them. I'm going to move them off the field. I don't know. So you 18, save. you saved. You take 21 points of damage, huh? I think the physics is was that how high is that hill? <laughs> Sixty feet high. Like bounced and rolled. Giant and came down like Indiana Jones, you know, the big yeah. it's, it's a, a giant hit. It's a giant hit points. <laughs> it's a giant arc. Okay. That is the opponent. What was the damage? I'm sorry. I, 21 hit 21. It's like Granny style. That's that's if you like, save. I'm guessing that yes, those, guessing <laughs> those two guys aren't getting back up. <laughs> it's up to you, dude. We need to parlay. Uh that's the opponent. Simon, you are up. Uh, I will launch a firebolt at the uh, catapult. <laughs> uh, there we go, 26. 26 hits! <laughs> Another 15 points of fire damage on the catapult. 15. And I will have my archers follow. Put a yellow on the catapult, please. Yeah, well. I'll have my archers fire follow my firebolt after I shoot oh, it. Oh, when I don't. Seventeen. Uh, uh, Would they do anything? Uh, yes, they do. Right, so Roll an insight check. What are you doing? It's wood. Nope. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. I, roll, I, I throw a, 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 a okay. inspiration for you to re-roll. I mean, I'm just thinking it's wood, man. Uh, that'll be a 22. 22. You, you're hitting, you, you're doing damage with yeah. the arrows, but you're pretty sure it's not doing as yeah. much just, damage. Just, 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 yeah. just use these guys and yeah. kill those guys. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's Uh, 15 points of arrow damage. 15 total points? Yep. Understood. And the four guys across the river will shoot at the lead orange <laughs> cowboy. Uh, the highest is an 18. Uh, does not hit. Three rounds to kill That's it. That's it for everybody. Karcher, you are up. Uh, my buddies are getting hurt, so I'm going to throw up an aura of vitality again. Ooh. And I will heal the thief. Ooh. You got hit pretty hard. I think that's not it's the game. I've only went twice, yeah. though. 12 hit points. Sweet. Very nice. Uh, and then I will obviously have the hammer slam into, slam into him. an orange guy over there. 21. 21! The hammer bashes him at the back. Right. Uh, 11. 11 more points of damage. You can turn him red, please. Wow. Bam! All right, I'm just gonna take a small step back this way. That is Kartra. Okay. Aldrich. Okay, Aldrich. Aldrich, you are up. I'm gonna pull the same shenanigans on the guy in the red. Sneak up. Double attack. Double attack. Uh, Sixteen. Sixteen. You jab your rapier and it strikes home, but it doesn't pierce the chain in between. And with the offhand, oh, it's not gonna work either. No, it does. And I'll. Come back this way. You sneak back through the crowd, stealthily working your way back. Anything else? Nothing. Uh, Borinth, you are up. All right. Uh, I'm gonna move through our guys again and get into like a center position right in here. You don't have to move me. Right? Whatever it be. So um, you're gonna, are you gonna push this guy over to the side? Just. I, I mean, I'm gonna move in and then move. Hopefully, move back out. But for now, I guess yeah. I guess I would take this out of there. All right, uh, first attack. 18, uh, 28, 29, 30 to hit. Swinging through. 
So that is... <laughs> I think you just split one, the planet in half. There's three guys there, I guess. Yes, of course there are. <laughs> of course there are. I, lined, I lined them all up for you. And then my second attack is 22, 23, 24 to hit. 24. So it hits. Yes, 24, 24 20. 20, the first two hit. Yeah. All right, and then, um, all right, I'll roll damage. 14 points damage on the first attack. 14 points. Yep. Okay. So there's that red guy the in there. Red and then two unscathed, correct? Uh, no, yes. one's orange. No, one's one is. Oh, unscathed. two ones. Oh, okay. Okay. 14. Yep. Okay. And then 19 points of damage. I'm sorry, how much was the last one? Uh, 14 and then 19. Um. <laughs> The, uh, the one in red is your sword, your axe halberd goes through and then comes back through. He collapses. The other two, turn them orange, please. I'm sorry, uh, yellow. <laughs> okay. Um, and I'm going to take a step back again so they'll get an attack of opportunity. Okay, they swing they away at you. Attack. Each no, one of them. Though, if he's right, if with, he's he gets his disadvantage, life. yes, yeah. on their attacks. Understood. A 13 and a 15 plus Miss. 7 becomes a 20. Oh, okay. Uh, so it does hit. He does. Uh, one of them does 10 points. The other one, a 13 and a 13. So that becomes a dirty 20. And it does 9 plus uh, four, 5 so, is 14 points. So five. Each halved. I'm sorry, I didn't have them for you, so you gotta have them. That's okay. Yourself. Five and a seven. Okay. Uh, that is Borinth. Mattias, you are up. So those two <laughs> men who were hit by the fireball, um, uh, the, Matias has the, the the drummer and the preacher drag them back and yeah, desperately true. try to uh, to give them first aid. Sure, go I for imagine. it. Well, yeah. unless they were double their hit points, they you can you can still try. Yeah, they, it wasn't nearly. So you would have to do sixty points of damage in one round. Yeah, both safe. Okay, or well, not sixty, but take them below minus thirty. Or yeah. Like, the, okay, they, so they both make it. So they're both you know, dragged behind the lines. Okay, understood. You can just okay. put him on the bridge or something like yeah. that. Or put him in the, the, the medic tank. And Matthias, having decided that he's had enough mash, of, mash, had enough yeah. of this, <laughs> steps into the front oh, line and the, hover, and the last hover deer and goes into the back and goes right immediately behind him. Okay. With one swordsman to, to his right and Klaus at his left. Uh, anything else? Now attacks. Attack away! Swordsman. Uh, against the against the halberdier against the yellow halberdier on the on my left. Okay. And that is not a that is a an abysmal failure. Uh, Klaus um, will not do anything because he's not within range of anything right now. I mean, he could move up. You don't want him to move up. Step up and stab something. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So he'll move up one. Guys, we might go slightly past ten. Is that okay? Um, yes. Yeah, Make a stab at the at the right hand. Uh, fellow, um, and that's and the eight. That is da, 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 that is plus six. Somebody the camera for me so you just can see the battle. Twenty-two. Twenty-two strikes home. Thank you, Dan. Better. Okay, and that's eight damage. A little better. Awesome. Eight okay. points. To which one was it? This one. Okay. Understood. He's still up, but he's wincing. He's still yellow. Uh, actually, you can change him to orange. Okay. Um, the halberdier will uh, will reach uh, will sort of reach uh, past me and uh, make a jab at the same guy. <laughs> that is not going to hit. Okay. And then I will make my attacks at the same one. So that's plus eight twenty one. 21 hits, your sword slices through his head. Uh, that is plus so 13 on my first attack. Oh, 13 damage. points of damage. Yeah. Take the next one, get the hit. And then for my second attack, that's a 23 to hit. 23, your sword comes across and you just 
jam it right back in again. And another 13 points of damage. 13 points. He goes down in a pool of blood. Anything else, Mattias? Cut them down. Nope, that, that'll be it for my turn. Okay, uh, opponents are up. Not looking good at all. He continues to sizzle like, <laughs> like the cake that he is. Hmm. Uh, what did they do with the die over here? That He fired last round, right? Yes. So yeah. this is round one. You see some guys scurrying around it, though. They're trying to put the fire out, so it actually is round zero, if you will. So I'm just going to put a six on it for right now. Um, these guys kind of push forward. He pushes forward into you. He pushes forward into that guy. This Klaus. guy pushes forward. Stand him back up again. These two, uh, there's what nothing they can do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a swirl. Remember that video that I had up here? Yeah, That's just that swirling that. mini yeah. video. Okay. <laughs> Bless you, bless you. Okay, he's got the one guy, Alderic is up against the hill. He's got the disadvantage, the guy in yellow swinging against one of your men of arms. Natural one, fumble card, please. Uh, miss, and his, uh, he doesn't get his bonus action because he's in charge this round. So, hit self with damage. <laughs> Ow, ow, <laughs> He ow. somehow manages to swing Who the bull arm so poorly that he hits himself. Uh, he that's, takes... Who's that? He takes... Um, uh, that amount of damage. What? Okay. Who is, who is who? The, the one on Mattias. Mattias. Why is he not in the fight? Because I... Because currently I have... I don't really have any... Oh, okay. Uh, oh. It, 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 we... These are the men at arms we have oh, okay. right now, besides him. Oh. Mattias, I'm assuming a 13 doesn't hit you. A no way. And he doesn't have his bonus action. Uh, um, the other guy's within range of both me and Klaus. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, he's going to go after you. He swings away. <sighs> Miserable rolls. And he swings away an 18 and a 14 plus 7 with 14 would be a 21. Those would hit. No, 21. He, he hits you for oh, a miserable uh, 8 points of slashing damage. That is them. That is the opponents. Zyman, you are up. Uh, I will You're going to fire bolt that at boy. the catapult. Uh, 14 to hit. <laughs> It does not hit. It okay. just sort of zooms right past it. Uh, the archers will aim at the ninth, then on the ground. Okay. Only one will hit, and a uh, critical fumble. Oh! Critical fumble. He, he would have been terrified, but he's not terrified of his mistake. <laughs> and uh, I will say this, orange guy takes three points of damage. The orange takes three points. Uh, he's still up, but he's four guys, wincing in pain. Four guys from across the river uh, do 18s hit. 18s do not. Ching, 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 ching. It might hit their armor, but it bounces off of them. That is it. We're done. Like okay, Simon, Cartra, Zyman, yes. Cartra you are okay. up. Next round. Yeah. Next Cartre, round. you oh, are I'm up. All right. Yeah. I'm going to direct the healing rays onto the barbarian. Nice. 11 points. <sighs> Need it. And then I'm going to have the hammer slam into that orange guy right there. He's attacking Klaus. Ah! 21. 21. That's the one that just took a lot of damage there, right? Yes. Okay, 21. Bam! You bashed him in the back of the head. You bashed him in the. You bashed him in the left leg somehow. All right, took ten damage. How much? Ten. Ten points, and he collapses in a pool of oh, nice. blood. Ah! Oh. Oh, nice. Everybody having a good time? Oh, yeah. 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 So much fighting. Huh? <laughs> so much fighting. It's, it's like a month and a half of fights. <laughs> but there was a long duration where there were no fights at there, all. There was three or four weeks where we didn't, but it was all RP. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I like both. I oh, wanted yeah. this to be a big battle. It's a big battle. Oh, good I'm, yeah. I'm surprised good it's gone this many sessions. And the, but. The, the juxtaposition is nice as well from one to, to another. 
Okay. Well, <laughs> let's go through it here. Uh, if I can find my sheets, Tom, where the heck are they? I'm a mess tonight, guys. Bear with me. <laughs> okay, here we are. Uh, let's start with Jess. What was your highlight, sir? Uh, if there was one. Reluctantly using my last higher level spell. Is a highlight on the moment. It's a resource. <laughs> it's a resource. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll, I'm pretty out except for uh, shield and cantrip. So I'm the I'm, I'm the useless wizard now. That <laughs> you have done. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go hang out in the tower probably yeah. next <laughs> round. <laughs> you have done a lot of damage though, dude. Uh, oh, oh, without a doubt. I I, I don't feel I don't bad. I do good. I do not feel bad at all. I. I'm the, the emoliator of the defile. This is darn true. <laughs> this is darn true. Thank you for the adventure log and the hooks. And yeah. you are still level nine, correct? Yes, sir. Uh, so 2,000 experience points. Mm. Very cool. Joe, did you have a good time? Awesome time today. What was your highlight? A couple of highlights. Uh, selfishly, I loved the uh, sneak attack bonuses and dealing... Oh, triple yeah. damage on somebody. Uh, it's ridiculous. I, I, it's honestly, not ridiculous. It's awesome. Oh, yeah. I, I had a great moment watching Rainer RP his his knight. That was really with, cool. With um, that remorse about the way he acted. That was that was an interesting touch there. And um, I like that. And I think you had some good RP. In there. I, I, I'm curious about what's going on with me because my character mm. is not really uh, mm. been fleshed out backstory wise with the group yet not that I know what's going on either but um, curious makes to see what it happens. even better yeah, yeah. that's why I like that so yeah well you gave me some hints of some things and then I of course ran with it yeah so, no I don't want to I be, hope you uh, don't mind it. <coughs> not at all I have offended people at this table before and some of you may know who I have offended I have offended people beyond this table <laughs> <laughs> you can I, I offend people every single day <laughs> So I don't mean to do it, but I do it. But if I ever am going in a direction that you don't, it bothers you, please speak up. I'd rather you be happy. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to make you happy every single day, but I hope you, I hope you enjoy it. Have fun. Uh, thank you for the adventure log and the hook. I do appreciate them. You're still level eight, correct? Correct. Uh, 3,000 experience okay. points, sir. Uh, what was your highlight, Dennis? Oh, I like the leeches, man. <laughs> I did enjoy that. I forgot all about that, those rules and stuff. So it was nice having a, an alternate way to bring people back. So definitely going to use that going forward. Well, cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I threw that in there because I didn't... Uh, that I actually stole from when I was back in AD&D. Well, I didn't steal. I came up with it back in AD&D. I have tweaked them since then. Um, because I always thought that clerics were just used too much for just healing. Which, which is important. Yeah, It's not to take anything away from healing, but... It's an additional resource, so especially in a game where if you want a lot to do a lot of damage back and forth, I think it's something cool. I mean, yeah. what you do with it is up to you. Um, uh, I hope you had fun. Oh, it was great. You're still level 9, correct? Yep. Um, 2,500 experience points. Very nice. Brian, what was your highlight? Oh, those leeches tasted really good. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, Borinth and Mattias just kind of getting a talk about you know, what their purpose is and what they're doing. And it was a little too heavy, man. It was was it too heavy? <laughs> it got a little heavy. Yeah, I gotta, gotta whole, be honest. But that's the whole point, It was great. You know? it, it was absolutely fantastic. <laughs> but it got a little heavy. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't know what that means, heavy. Is there something wrong with the gravitational pull in this room? <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, but that was fun. It was great. Um, I enjoy that a lot. I enjoy yeah. that stuff. Because we're, awesome. we're fighting and fighting and fighting, and we still find those little moments to have, you know, kind of reflect on the battlefield in front of us. I yeah. love that. I, to me, that's some of the fav my favorite, when you guys do that kind of stuff. That yeah. is some of my, it's my selfishly most. I remember one time um, Brad said to me, and I think he said at this table, one of the coolest things he ever saw was that uh, he sat back and he just sat there and he was stunned at the RP that you guys do. And that he had seen, he's like, I was blown away by... You just RP'd, and everybody at the table, not Tom, everybody at the table had just RP'd for 40 minutes nonstop straight. And he was like, God, I, I, I would love that at my table. And that made me feel so damn good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, and I was like, that is awesome. 
So I mean, I love that. If you get, if you enjoy it, that's well, it's good. choices, like player choices. Yeah. You got to choose to. You got to make the choice to yeah. dive right in and take take advantage of opportunities. Like you know, Reiner just he set it up. Right. Yes, it's he up did. to us whether or not we want to participate in it or not. So. And I thought it was a good opportunity because the, those two characters kind of go back and forth with each other about like yeah. what their yeah. codes of honor are. That is a good but they are juxtaposition. Just, they are the what they dollar. are. When it really comes down to it, they 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 do the same thing. In it's the just, end, in yes. the end, in, oh, mm -hmm. maybe different motivations. But right, yes. right, right, right. But they're they're doing they're taking part in the same act at the same time together. So it's there's a connection there. Yeah. Right, there's a common yeah. ground. So I thought it was a lot of fun. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, I did not see a hook or a log no. from you. Uh, 1,500 experience points, sir. Oh my gosh, there's a lot. There's a couple of people. You guys are going to get another 500 experience point bonus here real soon because uh, I think I hear some dings coming up. Um, <laughs> Reiner, what was your highlight? Yeah, of course. Definitely the conversation with Lorenth. Um, I admit I had been hoping for something to happen when I started setting that up, but I, did, but I was not uh, certain whether it would. Um, but it, it panned out even better than I had hoped, and uh, it, I, it definitely gave me some new ideas on how, on, uh, what exactly is going through Matias's head and how he might approach things in the future. I, I thought it was interesting that, um, the, the last session you did something that was somewhat questionable, and I think you even questioned it with regards to whether or not it was within... Matias's code of honor, and then tonight you kind of re-engage that. Whether or not you, I'm not trying to dissuade you. No, I, your, I was fully. Uh, I was. Fully I don't know if you were aware of that. I was. Oh, okay, I thought that that was really cool, and I thought the engagement with him was very, very cool. Thank you for the adventure log and the hook. I do appreciate them. I thought that was very, very interesting the way you wrote it. Um, help me out here. What What do you need to pop from ten to eleven? I think it's, is it 84,000? 85, I think. Oh, 85? 85. Oh, I mean, Ooh, you're just so, so shy. You first so you, uh, you're at 2,000 experience points, so you're at 84, 6, 8, 9, oh. 80, 84, 6, 8, 9, Here. 2. How many do you need? So you need uh, uh, 5, four, 6, four. technically, How I many? Guess. You have You have a ton of inspiration. That's 100 I'll Tell you what, I'll, I'll you can have one of mine. You can have one of mine. Yeah, yeah. Here. Yeah. Here, you're actually three hundred right there. You're benefiting the party right there. Three hundred well, right need, there. Uh, six more. <laughs> you, need, you need three you need more. Three more right there. <laughs> if I'm, my math is there you right. Go. Ding 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 ding. So I'm now at eighty-five. You're so you got twenty-five hundred. So you were that puts you at um, if my math is correct. I'm sorry. It was um, it was you were at eighty-two six eight nine. Plus 2,000, put you at 84,689, plus 500, correct me if I'm wrong, put you at uh, 85,189. Maybe I'm, you didn't need one. Yeah, take, give it back to Matt. So yeah. you're at, uh, you're at 85,089. Does that make sense? That makes sense. So what do you Congratulations. Mean? For our first eleven, uh, first Ooh, level eleven. Right. First level eleven. Wow. First to 11. Who says D and D doesn't go past level ten? Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm at eighty-two. You the horn for that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You guys are so. dinging up against it, and Balder yeah. is like right behind or right with you. Out. I thought for sure. Ooh. Yeah. I'm really smites. close. I'm really close to yeah. ten. They're yeah. all gonna be smites. And it's also a cure. Right. I'm right there for ten. Well, I mean, most uh, of them will be smites. Not just being Accession, one of the ones who goes always goes up back first. It's not damage and then a it's, smite. It's, I mean, I'm not trying to cheat my own word, but it's not surprising. He's been in. He's been here the longest. <laughs> yeah, but you did take yeah. a break for a little while too. Yeah, yeah. So that's. Uh, you know what? I think it all makes sense. Everybody, it all makes know. sense. I hope it's been fair. I think it's. I think it's been. I I do sense a little frustration with this, but I'm trying to make this an intense battle. I mean, it's it is what it is. Hopefully, we'll see you on the 19th if you're not here in person uh, before you go back to school. Uh, uh, I hope you will be, but if not, you'll be on the uh, the monitor back there. Is that when we're uh, back, the 19th? I, what, what, today's the 5th, plus 14 mm -hmm. should be the yeah. 19th, mm -hmm. right? <coughs> Wait, this month's flying by. <laughs> I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, no, no, no. I'm just, I'm oh, good. Wrong. Guys, mm -hmm. let me just wrap it up. Thank you for watching Seven Sided Dies Carpathian Adventure. Mm -hmm. We would, again, like to thank Sirenscape for the use of their audio sound effects. Even though, listen guys, I do pay for this. So I'm required to say to them, thank you, because it's written in the contract. But I'm also, it's also fair to say that it fails every now and then. And I've written to the guys who make it, and it 
bums me out that every once in a while it cuts out. <laughs> it's good, it's a really good product, but it does cut it out every now and then. For the use of their audio sound effects, that's www.syrinsape.com. I'm required to say that, so I said it. Thank you, artist Yenu and Silky Noir for the terrific character art. Please patronize them by the at symbol. Uh, uh, Yenu draws on Instagram at symbol Yenu on Tumblr and Twitter and patronize Silky Noir on DeviantArt. Please comment in the Twitch chat room on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, and on YouTube. While we do this strictly for fun, please let us know how we might improve the stream. Lastly, please follow us on Twitch, on Instagram, please like on Facebook and on YouTube, and please subscribe. On YouTube, I think we're up to, uh, it popped up to like 289 subscribers, Ooh, something like that. Those we're all getting cupcakes. there, getting Another. closer to the cupcakes, Another. getting close. Well, I, yes, don't tell your friends, like, just sign up so, like, you can get some cupcakes. <laughs> cupcakes, cupcakes, <laughs> sugar-free, sugar -free, sugar -free, sugar -free, maybe gluten-free for Deb. As we leave you, okay, that's a reach. Uh, as we leave you, please indulge my periodic diatribe. I started this a couple weeks ago, but I will. I finally got it worked out. I put in a piece of video, so I'm going to go with it. Ad hominem. If you watch our stream regularly, and if you make it this far, God bless you, but <laughs> you know I read a lot of online forums related to Dungeons & Dragons. In a recent one, a player asked the forum's audience if his dungeon master's ruling was correct in accordance with rules as written or raw. Um, to me and to the others in the forum, the raw answer was open to interpretation. It still was somewhat subjective. And many people made very strong arguments supporting both sides. However, one respondent replied that the ruling by the original poster's DM was, quote, dumb, unquote. <laughs> Another said, quote, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard, and I hate your DM, unquote. <laughs> Still another said, quote, your DM is being an ass, unquote. Excuse my vulgarity. I think that an ass refers to an animal, so I don't think he was talking about a part, a biological part of a human being. While I don't necessarily agree with the ruling by the original poster's DM, I don't. I understood his interpretation. He made a cogent argument. I also believe that the ability uh, could have been better worded in the rules as written. I, either way, calling the DM's ruling dumb or stupid or calling the DM an ass literally resolves nothing. It is also an ad hominem. Okay, Tom, what's an ad hominem? Reiner said it last night. What is an ad hominem, you might ask? The following uh, classic example... Okay, funny, <laughs> yes. It was originally aired in August of 1979. Okay, I was just about to start my junior year in high school. So, yes, I thought it was funny. And though it's incredibly offensive by today's standards, I still think it's funny. Okay, hit, you know, throw darts at me, whatever. <laughs> With that, the clap clip is a good example of, in my opinion, an ad hominem, meaning, quote, to the man, unquote, in Latin, ad hominem is a reply or a rebuttal to an argument that attacks the person making the argument rather than the argument itself. It is another informal, what they call logical fallacy. The structure of an ad hominem is as follows. Person A claims X. Person B attacks person A. Therefore, X is wrong. In the clip, Dan Aykroyd's character personally attacks Jane Curtin. Yes, he does touch on the associated issue, sort of. However, the foundation of his argument is his personal attack on her. Jane Curtin claims X. Dan Aykroyd attacks Jane, Jane Curtin. Therefore, X is wrong. When you see the logical structure of the argument, it becomes clear why it's a fallacy. The truth or falsehood of X has nothing to do with the person arguing in support of it. Imagine if X had been written down and you, you didn't know who was arguing the case. If you couldn't prove it wrong with the arguments, then you can't prove it wrong at all. Why is this an acceptable approach? In my humble opinion, it's an acceptable approach because people are humans with sometimes unknown to themselves agendas. And the anonymity of the internet per net permits them to hide and make ad hominems. In the end, it's okay to disagree with your DM. <clears throat> However, 
Just as Dan Aykroyd's response to Jane Curtin was uh, funny but inappropriate, it's not okay to ad hominem your DM. <laughs> I will end my diatribe there. Always remember, in the Carpathian Adventure, the journey is the destination, and we will continue the journey in two weeks. Mm -hmm. So for now, thank you for watching. Roll a seven-sided die, and have a good night. Hurrah! Isn't that a good